Hello everyone and welcome to this, the launch of a new expedition and the ending of an old one. This is the Andromeda Adieu expedition made by Just Barely, who unfortunately is not able to actually take the launch, so instead the your good old self, Commander Yannick, will be uh, playing the role of substitute teacher once more. <laughs> I say once more because I did this before on another expedition, but we'll talk about that some other time. Hey there to chat, hey Sato. Right, and hey to everyone out there in Twitch land. This is also the ending of the Passage to Andromeda expedition. Waypoint 13, Waypoint Cernan, which we'll get into a little bit later. But this is the uh, Andromeda Edu launch. It's got some of the same people on it, some people who have nothing to do with uh, Passage to Andromeda, but we did this once before, handing off one expedition to the other. But uh, I'll uh, just connect with the people in Discord as well. Hello to everybody out there and in here and wherever you may be in this wonderful galaxy of ours. <laughs> The frame rate's a little bit slower at the moment than I would like, but I do wonder if that's because the UK is being snowed on at the moment and some of the infrastructure is not as well protected as it should be. <laughs> that is entirely possible. Glad we have such a long path. And we can have or well, they've not turned the hamsters on at Frontier Towers and put them into their little wheels and everything. <laughs> they've not been fed properly. Everyone's seen pretty much once. Yeah. We got fun times. There's a lot of ships doing the little rolls. Yeah. It's not much things to remember. Funny if we crash the servers with this mass jump and. <laughs> Exactly, that's true. That what a way to go out, though, as well. You know, if uh, we managed to actually crash the servers. I know Distant Worlds did it. I mean, the odds of us doing it are pretty small, but considering the hamster shortage at the moment, yeah, that might be a problem. <laughs> ah, dear. Yeah, I, do, I seem to recall on Distant Worlds 2, the very first mass jump did crash the servers. That's exactly what we're alluding to, yeah, yeah. It was hilarious, really. It's yeah, like, probably. did we just break the servers? Like, yeah, we did. Like, this is really <laughs> quite wild. Oh. <laughs> Your goal is to crash the frontier servers. Uh, it's a hard thing to do, but that's exactly what happened. Yeah, this is, the frame rate's pretty low at the moment, unfortunately. Wow. I think I just cracked. I, I almost went right through. Well, I think I. Looking at my contrail there, it looks like I went right through the middle of the. Yeah, uh, yeah. You, you missed me by like five meters. Someone <laughs> did crash into me earlier. This anaconda in my face about half an hour ago. <laughs> it was quite funny, really. I'll just set up right where I, right where I wound up here. Yeah, I wasn't damaged. Uh, I think anything. I got pretty close to crash into someone. <laughs> I think uh, most of us later to the party did. Well, not did crash, but get close to. Cool. Uh, what, anyway. what the, what's the um, the star that I'm uh, jumping towards? Thirty-eight point five light years. The only D one around. D eleven zero. Yeah, that's the one. Not many choices in this part of the the galaxy. Yeah, if you have um, yeah, lines cool. on, if you are right lines on, it's the only one that's showing a. In fact, it's the one you came from just now. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. Mm. Oh, follow that dashed grey line. <laughs> that, so I sent you a multi crew invite. You should have gotten it. Let's try that again. Galaxy map wasn't cooperating. <laughs> the galaxy map is a fickle, fickle Yeah, thing. selecting target doesn't. Can selecting you... target doesn't work anymore. You have to like. Move off of the thing and then back onto it. You should. Oh, no, I don't want to feel stupid. You should see it in your navigation. Yeah. Yeah. yeah there I think. It is. Man, the frame rate is just intensely awful. It's not good, is it? It's not. Yeah. Uh, even like my stream at the moment, it's like the frame rate for that is not as bad as it was, but it's still not good. It's still pretty low. Yeah. Sato is pointing out the huge number of anacondas oh, here, which is not unexpected. But go. Oh, sorry. I'm still getting about. I did a full seven jumps away last There's night. There's not enough on the front there. 
<laughs> yeah, the majority are out of condors still. There's a so there's a python I see, a few crates. Uh, obviously, I have a dolphin at the front here. There's an orca oh, to the right. Yeah. Let me hit that button. Python. Is that a crate doing some maneuvers? Am I the only condor with the snow stuff on? Possibly. No, there's another one. Okay. I thought that he's called a few. I think there's a DBX amongst these as well, that I can see. Oh, there's another dolphin down there too. Which one DBX? I'm quite zoomed out far, so I'll have to get closer. Right, okay. I think we're stable and everyone's here now, so it was can, intended. we can begin the countdown. Um, I gotta um, send, um, get uh, Sato in here. One more. He's he's ready now. I'm just sending him an invite. Open my cargo hatch just to permit myself safe. Keep pressing the key. Nothing happens. Yeah. For the landing gear, anything but don't don't boost. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I see the. Uh... I'm just sitting there now. I don't need cool. plastics. Huh. There we go. I'm a good there. pilot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you got Sato in here. Right, okay, cool. Uh, I think right. we're locked in. Right. Right, everyone spool up if you're not already spooled up. We're ready to get going. Right, if we say we're going to jump at 18.07, that gives us about a minute and a bit. And I'll do the final 10 seconds of the it's count. It's just a symbol. <laughs> oh, it's 18.06 already. Sorry, 1808. Sorry, 1808. I, uh, I tried to do yeah. three things at once, and then this is what happens. <laughs> yeah, 1808, sorry. Yeah. Oh, it's 08 we're going to jump at. So jump anyway. at 1808? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you missed the part there. jump at 07, 07 seconds. <laughs> My God. Yeah. Cool. And another reminder to jump onto Endeavor, which will depart well i'll trigger the jump at 1820. Cool. maybe 07 47. 30 seconds uh, I'll say that not yeah yeah 18 normal acceleration or do we do boosted acceleration you, yeah, normal acceleration is preferable yeah. yeah just normal. right 15 right. seconds ready stand by and we're going in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, engage. Just hit it whenever you can, basically, as soon as you can behind it. Okay, I'll count you guys as jumping at 18 or 7. <laughs> engage. It is beautiful. <laughs> yeah, it's always a nice experience. It is. Absolutely. It's one of the things of the game that never gets old. Now we're going to watch 10 anacondas trying to land on. <laughs> this on is going to be fun. <laughs> uh, it's yeah. always fun watching oh, this. Oh, God. As you see the massive ships flying towards the star. I and around wait. There. The, you know, the trails are just so much smaller in 4.0 than they are in 3.8. It's harder to see individual ships as much. There, yeah, cool. Right, uh, let's go to the carrier. Everyone to the carrier endeavor. I jumped. Now it's time to clog up the pads. <laughs> Race to the pads, yeah. If you've got a large ship, it might be uh, a little bit of a squeeze. Well, a small ship's are not such a problem. It's a shame you can't hey, adjust the orbit of the carrier. And it's one of those things that say the FDF like hasn't put up. I understand initially when you come into the system, but once you're in the system, you should be able to, you know, adjust the orbit of anything. But that's not a thing in the game, and it's a shame, really. You know. I. To be fair, I think they, they have more pressing issues at the moment. <laughs> I suppose so, but, you know, it's priorities are priorities. They did um, carry... Nice, it would be a nice... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
They didn't carry us a bit like eight, a nice of life, that two sure. years ago when they introduced us. They had plenty of time to figure that out. <laughs> Talking granted. That is the most pads I've ever seen lit up on a carrier. <laughs> can say Indeed. it's the most lit up one I've seen. Mm -hmm. But it's not, close. Not accidents, please. It is beautiful. I left a bit of the conda on the landing pad as a thank you. You know, just just scrapping about. Well, someone is scrapping really hard. <laughs> so go to the front hall and uh, no, wait, we can't. No horizons. Are you guys are in horizons? Horizons yes. four point zero. We can go to the bar right now. <laughs> we have no space left. Tell you what I'll do. I'll switch to a medium ship uh, if if they need the pad here. I did see someone else in EDO just now. Small ship. Exhaler. Right. Yeah. Endeavor's due to jump yeah, at twenty minutes past. I think we'll be on board by that point, so... Clear the bay of the... Anaconda. Yeah. Yeah, looks like it's filled up now. Cool. Um... Endeavour is... Uh... There are several ships just sitting on the, the pad. Are they not uh, able to... Uh, Everyone should just descend. Just drop down. Yeah. We should try and jump as quickly as we can as well. I'm, going, from, uh, to switch. I'm getting uh, to a small ship myself so I can clear out the uh, hangar. <clears throat> I mean, would have loved to have helped that problem, but uh, it might be understandable that uh, my other there ships are quite far away. Mm hmm. I still far away. Have... I should clear a uh, hangar for one of the larger ships. See. Guys, you know what? I still have one more uh, DBE in the lost system. There's a bug. <laughs> What's it going to lead into? <laughs> Interesting idea. I have what, three, one free ship. How many people here do actually have Odyssey, or how, um, how many people just have Horizons 4.0? I have Odyssey. I have Odyssey. Odyssey I have as well. What? Are you so desperate to get to the bar? I'm just really thinking nice. about that. I'm just thinking this could be quite an interesting thing if we do that. If we could, like, you know, socialize in the bar while we do this. Um, has, it, has anyone not got Odyssey out of the voice chat we're in? Is that everybody then? I think we all do. Right? No, I, I didn't think we all do. <laughs> okay, that, that's cool. I, I mean, the instancing disappears once we're all docked anyway. Yeah, I mean, or, do you want to? We could do that actually or, between now and we actually right get back to Odyssey then. Oh yeah, we could go to meet in Odyssey yeah, just to yeah, see what happens if we can now. all team up and meet each other in the bar. You know, we we should try that. That sounds like fun. Yeah. Is, is everyone or, okay or with that? The game. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, well, if it crashes, then then we'll know not to do it again. Yeah. I would only have crashed. Yeah. See you guys in the. Uh, in the uh, okay. Cool. Did they not say that they had fixed that issue where the fleet where the fleet carrier commander uh, wasn't appearing in his own ship? Mm hmm. What? Oh, couldn't team. Couldn't team. Sure. Sure. Couldn't join other people. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> huh. Okay. Then switch to we'll switch to Odyssey and see what happens. You know. Shot of everybody. So. But. Yeah. But the only thing to remember, we'll try for Odyssey now just to get to the bar, but we'll have to go back to Horizon 4.0 for the uh, the joint meetup uh, when we get to the location. Okay, so let's do that then. Okay, I'll, uh, hello stream people. Yeah, and I want to get a group we'll, shot of we'll be, inside the carrier. <laughs> we'll be switching yeah. over to Horizon, so I'll shut the screen down sure. for a second. Now mind you, when, when we jump, if everybody's aboard the carrier in person, then it'll all pull us all to the front uh, observing area automatically. I think telephone puts you.
And everyone, we're back. I pointed at. Uh, that's it. No okay. name. In fact, there's two people with no name for me. It seems that everybody has actually returned to the bar. Yeah, I have that suit too. Yeah. I'm just uh, setting myself up on the planet. And, uh. I think, uh. Switching to, uh, my main account at the moment. To be fair, you know, that intro, you know, with the, uh. The, the cinematic Thargoid intro is actually pretty good. <laughs> Since we are so many people in mm -hmm. the bar. And we all docked with our ships. Mm -hmm. What happens to our ships? <laughs> you don't want to know. Yeah. Oh god. Or they're in like a sub hangar below the hangars. Yeah. Well, elves basically clean them when Carriers. you're not there. Can't, <laughs> Can't aim out while you're sitting, huh? Right. Yes. yes. Carries a bigger on the inside. <laughs> Like the TARDIS? With time and relative yeah. dimensions. In space. Yes. Okay. Right, I'm now in my main account at the uh, meetup local. Are you in that team? I'm by myself at the moment. I will start logging, sorry, I will start winging people in in a little bit. I'm just going to external camera first to have a look around. It's quite a grey place. It's very much like the moon, which is supposed to be kind of the analog of. <laughs> it's kind of, yeah, not the most inspiring of locations, but so it's nice ten... enough. Yeah. <clears throat> ten minutes to the first jump. Mm -hmm. So, folks, is there any chance to catch you up? I'm just jumping in. Whereabouts oh, are you? Yeah. Where? Where have you got to? Where are you now? Yeah, that's... I didn't know those great massive engines opened up. I'm on the carrier, but that's... It's just booty. So I'm... You should have time. Yeah. Okay. If you're on Endeavor, you're fine, you know. Uh, no. I'm on Intrepidus, I guess. Intrepidus is departure. I th yeah, I don't know what Intrepidus movements are. I'm not sure when that's going to move next. So if you want to move to the meetup system, you'll have to fly there yourself. Oh lord! Ah, uh, So we have to leave the carrier. If you're on Intrepidus, I don't think Intrepidus is going to jump anytime soon that I'm aware of. Um, so, because Endeavour's already left for uh, the meetup system. If you're at Star One, obviously Intrepid's at Star One, so yeah. So, we could the lounge you... system. Right. With the. Um, as far as I see. Yeah. At the Andromeda, do people have left the system already and are moving on to the uh, meetup system now? Yeah, I'm I'm on Star One. He says. Okay. So, where do I find you? Um, it's in, in uh, announcements that it should be the meetup system in there. But yeah, you'll have to fly by um yourself and basically boost into the uh, across some of the the star gaps. Yeah, in the, the CWED eleven orbit. That's a target. Um, let's have a look. It's all in announcements. So the, the meetup system is. It's called the finale system, actually, isn't it? Blair B O early on W M dash W D dash D one dash zero. Sorry. <clears throat> okay, the landing zone system. Yeah, that's the one. The Taurus Litro finale system. Okay, so I have to charge at that one. Okay, thank you. Cool. I will have for what. Awesome. Uh, nice, even Kit sitting in his uh, commander chair in the command deck with everyone sitting down. It's a proud moment, no doubt. 
We gotta get everybody go to the command deck. I wanna see if I can get a I wanna get a picture of everybody. Uh oh, I'm back. What are you doing? I think a lot of people on the command deck or in the observation area. I'm not actually there, I'm at the uh meetup system. In uh, in yeah, I forgot. Yeah? I'm not actually in Odyssey, I've forgotten oh, I, I don't I, I only have Odyssey on my main account and uh that was my secondary oh, account. I so. have... I mean, thank uh, God. <laughs> it's like being at the cinema waiting for the film to start. <laughs> In a way, it is. Yeah, <laughs> that's a very good analogy. Yeah, yeah. The trailers? Come on. yeah, yeah, exactly. Instead of a trailer, you've got a couple of mime artists. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we've got some jugglers, we've got some mime artists uh, for your entertainment this evening. I never noticed that before. I was zooming in to get a good look at uh, Kit in the chair, and as he stands up, the, uh, I guess the command module or controls right in front of him slide aside and uh, place themselves right next to the chair. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can control the carrier from there. Yeah. Yeah. You can interact with that. Yeah, that's new, um, I think. It's pretty it neat, actually. Before we um, did 13 or something. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, Logan, did you get my team invitation? Oh, um, hang on a second. I have. And Matrix yeah. also. I've sort of been out of. Uh... I'm a, I'm in I'm in, I'm on the carrier, so I'm just getting screw, uh, footage. Try again. Okay. There we go. Now I see it. No. Okay. I'll uh. Get a team invite. There we go. Now I got something here. Uh, so if you accept that, you can come up to the command deck. Oh yeah. Uh, so yeah, go ahead and send me uh got send it. me another invite. Okay. I think I've got it now. Mm -hmm. All right. How uh, how many people can you fit on the command deck? Just out of curiosity. Ah, uh, we think that if once you're on the command deck and you leave the team, you don't get thrown out of the command deck so we don't know the limit but i think it's more than you just can't size you just can't get uh you can't get in the uh oh i forgot there's only one person at a time in the elevator you can't <laughs> you, you can't stay in the office which is sucks oh no uh, you have to you have to uh, sit on a chair up there What yeah, what happened? Cool. There are some oh, chairs. Oh, oh, there's some right chairs on... here. Yeah, no. these chairs you can sit in, but you whether they are valid the for the. Please head to the seating area. So. Right, got it. You need to sit down now. <laughs> Compulsory sitting down. <laughs> oh, where's my popcorn? Oh, <laughs> yeah. that'd be nice. Which popcorn would you like, sir? I noticed the crew is not strapping in. Oh no, they're daredevils. They always love taking these risks. I don't think strapping in is going to make much of a difference if anything goes wrong. No. It'd be turned to mush the, against the windscreen. Up there? Yes, we do. Uh, it's There's probably too late to to invite anyone else at the moment. Like. We got three minutes. Yeah, we got them more time. The system won't allow you at a certain point, though. That's the thing. Once it's locked in, 
you kind of can't do oh, much after a certain point. Happening. Yeah, so in that case, they actually have more like 45 seconds to do it. I think if the two minute market forcibly seats you somewhere yeah. up here. Whether you like it or two not. Two minutes 36. Yeah. yeah, I wasn't allowed to be in the bar. Oh, really? Uh -huh. Nope. But I got uh, a yeah, key. it shuts down the things. <laughs> so the doors literally close over the bar. Huh. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Two minutes. Yeah, this week we're a slightly higher G world than normal, point three. <laughs> so one minute and forty seconds till the movie starts. Yeah, yeah. Once again I have to praise Elite Dangerous and Frontier's sound design because all the all the various little things that go on before the actual jump, so you can hear bulkheads closing. Well, it actually does it. If you go to the uh, carrier overview during the lockdown process, you can see the pads locked down where yeah, they all go awesome. below and everything. It's awesome. I saw them from my seat. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Good luck. I had the best seat in the in the place, I think. <laughs> nice. uh, the best seat is the commander one. Yeah. But for being escorted from the bar. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been misbehaving? <laughs> yeah, Frontier, do you uh, do make some good uh, small details? That's true, yeah. The sound design in this game is amazing. Indeed. The thing is, it didn't have to be because a lot of this is, you know, it's a space game, so, you know. No sound in space, supposedly, but you know, we're gonna cheat that and we're gonna be good at it no matter what. Yeah, space with no sound is just boring. Bland. Yeah, but you're but you're inside, so you can still hear it inside. Well, yeah, it's yeah because of the vibrations. Yeah. Here we go. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Good start to the movie. <laughs> it's a classic. Oh, I've seen this movie, movie before. It's the yeah. final countdown. <laughs> <laughs> we should have the music. Fortunately, you don't uh, have the rights to it. It looks more like someone set the projector on fire. Yeah. Somehow I've never seen this. It's impressive. Oh, you haven't seen this? This is like the best thing in the whole game. Yeah, <laughs> it's the best. It's the best uh, frame shift driver jump sequence. It's nice. It's kind of a different perspective. You stay in camera mode the whole time. Hmm. Uh, that would have been sick. Yay, we have arrived and we're undead. Uh, someone Must managed be. to get up of, out of the seat early. Yeah, I <laughs> don't know how. <laughs> okay. There we go. May now leave your seats. All right. All right, so I was and everyone back is to... no longer scanned. Are we switching back to BD Horizon or are we keeping to Horizons 4? Okay. No, Horizons 4 for everything from here onwards. Yeah. Right. I mean, Odyssey was okay. only for the bar stuff, really. Okay, so I'm going to switch. All right, I'm going to switch back. My FPS is now 15, yeah. so yeah. yeah. I'll load everything uh, back in. Well, maybe after we're done, we can do another, because I want to do a, a on foot, uh, like class photo type thing before everybody oh, cool. takes off. So, since we have more people here. <clears throat> yeah, 
most of the, we've been getting a lower count of people joining meetups towards the end so really only get maybe 10 people per meetup lately yeah Sometime. What are they doing now? Zero is right. It's like most expeditions, you start off with the most people, then it just gets less and less as it goes on. Sometimes it's like uptick if it's the last ever meet up, but you know, usually it's less people. So you know, it's nice to have a few more fellow I just travelers. Got out of my hangar. How do you get kicked out of your own hangar? <laughs> just threw, no threw this sheep off. Just <laughs> bugger off. <laughs> Just to give you guys a heads up, Yannick and I are uh, accepting team requests at the location. Okay. Yeah, um, once you're in system, yeah. Great stuff. Yeah, I'm yeah. switching to uh, Horizons. But I'm, I'm staying on the carrier because that's... Oh, wait, we're in the finale system now, right? No, no, got another jump to do after the cooldown. My oh, okay. ship has uh, despawned. D10, yeah? Wait, it has despawned. Yeah. Yes. What does that even mean? Oh, there's one ship. Doesn't exist in anymore. In the elevator. Oh. Yeah. Well, good luck. Switch back to Horizon. I mean, cannot be. While we are still waiting. Okay. Yeah, the finale system is D1 dash zero. Well, I'm, yeah, I'm switching to uh, Horizon. Yeah. Regardless, anyway. So yeah. Cool. Same. Are you switching again? <laughs> I'm late. Anyone still on Odyssey? No, we're all switching back. Okay. <clears throat> I decided to get I into the ship first. first. We just want to see how many commanders could actually be on the carrier at the same time during a jump. Because it's up all of them. Oh. Yeah, I can't even uh, <laughs> set the, my current active ship. Oh. Oh, that's, God. that's almost the how many electricians is it? change take to change a light bulb kind of <laughs> yes no oh, in that case i'm gonna hey, jump out the ship for a second and scan do a quick scan uh, no don't do on. that oh i'm sorry well yeah yeah you've got um a few minutes for... minutes but I'm about to <laughs> trigger the next jump yeah I'll be quick. Don't accidentally Thank like you. jump people away from the system or have you leave them stranded in the middle of nowhere but that won't happen anyway most people are usually okay uh yeah that's cool so then the next the uh passage to andromeda uh andromeda do joint meetup will start at 1900 approximately because obviously it depends on when you guys actually arrive in the system but yeah, as you say myself and joe are, are at the meetup point uh on the planet so that's all good well Second jump is triggered, so to mm -hmm. be fifty-five, eighteen fifty-five will arrive. Okay. Yeah. Uh, if someone do lag behind, I do have a uh, carrier that is still in waypoint one. Oh, we... Wait, hang on. Did Horizon four point four get the system map and gun map from Odi? Yes, yeah, it's the, it's the uh, same it's basic software. Same. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm. Uh, guys, will we have another a group photo? On the... No. I, I, I want to do a group bags. photo at the end. In Odyssey. Um, yeah, yeah, we, we, we can do that, absolutely. Yeah. Thankfully, yeah, I have Odyssey yeah. on my main account. Back to our horizons. <laughs> but yeah, Horizon, for the rest of the meet, after the meet's yeah. over, we can um, switch to Odyssey to do like other things if you like, but that, that's not a problem. Uh... Are we back Anyone that... Then? Has planned to use uh, Horizon Steep point eight. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. Are we back in um, Horizon? Horizons okay, so four point zero. Yeah. yeah, everyone I'm should be in, in Horizon four. Yeah. Joining and the carrier is filling up, boys. It says unable to load your save games at a location that this game version does not support. Move to safe location. Does that mean I'll still be on the carrier? I hope so. Uh, yes. That's <laughs> <happened to> me, <laughs> okay. Yeah. It, I think is that an uh, NPC yeah. that just <laughs> carriers do have NPCs. This is the funny thing. would a medium ship just land there? 
Yeah, but did it just land on a big docking area? Like, bro. <laughs> that might be Matrix Gamer it? returning. Hmm. Ah, okay. Yeah, I just returned back oh, fair from enough. a yeah, quick yeah. scan. Uh, so. Okay, cool. cool. And then I'm, uh, I just stuck. So now I'm doing some, some photos of everyone landing and taking off. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. Something's yeah. wrong with my Discord. Where's my overlay? Huh. Uh, how can I? get it? Yeah, Nick, I added you as a friend. Awesome, cool. I will How accept I, uh, I entered the correct horizons in game. Well, you should be able to, you know, point out, because it usually says, like, the Odyssey intro, sort of Odyssey, and then it comes up with, you know, the Horizons logo what? as well. So it's like, it confuses us anyway. They shouldn't have yeah, called it Horizons 4.0. I think everybody agrees with that. It's like, Dear Frontier, could you think of a more imaginative name than just Horizon 4.0? Because anyone doing any event is going to be confused by this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, this the the entire rest of the meet of the meetup, everything about this happens in Horizons 4.0. Anything after the meet that we might want to do otherwise, like, you know, pictures and what have you, that can be in Odyssey 4.0. Yes. But everything's happening in Horizon 4.0 until then. So that's the key part to remember for uh, everybody. But yeah, we're sort of sitting in a crater here, which is, yeah, it's not actually bad. It's kind of fun. Hi, <laughs> Anik. Can you uh, invite me to team so I can uh, meet up? Who's asking? Rex. Mm, let me have a Rex look. The cat. <laughs> Got that. Right, sent you on. Now I'm back in my ice peaks. What a good ship. It is a nice ship. I've got one today. Okay, Rex is in. Are it's people waiting for a pad to land or what? Shouldn't be, I would have thought, but yeah. I see people taking off and hovering. Hmm, interesting. I want to watch the carrier departure. Uh, yeah. So I, I took off before it jumped because I, I needed I'll to actually... Too. I needed to actually... It has more range to reach the... Well, I... The I, I, need, I needed to put ships on JBL's carrier because I'm not... I'm still not sure of the Endeavor situation for the return, mm -hmm. and uh, don't want to lose my two uh, ships, obviously. Uh, <laughs> but uh, n no, I'm like my my. I can perfectly, I can make the distance perfectly fine in this. I've got seventy light years with cargo, so. <laughs> Endeavor won't be leaving the area until tomorrow morning. Okay, but the but uh, Adieu is actually making its uh, initial jump almost like tomorrow. Like the end, the the end. Uh, oh, is that tomorrow? Yeah, skier isn't going until tomorrow morning. Okay. Cool. And all I've right, just right. and I've just realised that I'm I'm taking Endeavour back to to Star One. I I could take it just as far as the um the system that skier is in if that will make it even cheaper for you yeah, that would be very but you're, nice but you're bringing everybody back to the bubble right before you start oh, with the well, next expedition let, let's do this first go back to the system that skier is in yeah everybody who wants to move their ships and modules across yeah should do it before tomorrow morning Mm -hmm. And yes, Endeavour will depart at, tomorrow morning. Yeah, the thing is departing at ten in-game time tomorrow. So, can JBL get a team invite, please? Okay. Yeah, the um, think of Star One as like the mustering system where all the logistics is happening, where all the different carriers are going to meet. The only one that isn't meeting there is going to be mine. But then again, mine is sort of going to be decommissioned shortly anyway. So, 
that's just the way of things. Okay. I just just barely arrived. When did you arrive? Mm -hmm. I've been here about five minutes. So I just can I get a team invite, please? Just, just did. Invite. You've been sent one. So the destination system right now is the finale system. That is correct. Yes. Not, I am unable to find a route. I'm not seeing any invites. Okay. I um, need five basics to get. You in Horizon, JBL? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I, I already sent one to them, but it should have arrived. On the menu, and I've sent you about three friends request, uh, team oh, requests. Not this problem again. <laughs> okay, I'll just try and um, go to the coordinates and hope to find you there. Okay. Cool. Okay. I kind of catch up, like, I don't see a route. No way. Um. Okay. JPL, I just, I mean, about 10 minutes ago, I got Yannick in, so I, it implies the problems at your end rather than yes. at our end. Yeah. I, I, I agree, but I mean, it doesn't matter what, which end it is. I yeah, yeah, it affects the same, exactly. Um, I'll drop out of this team anyway, just to free up space. I can see you in your floor here. You want to stay here? Yeah, I've just sent Kit uh, an invite, and I've got the little letter with the arrow. I don't get it when I send it to you, JBL. How strange. Yeah, we've we've had unfortunately say I'm I'm pretty sure these bugs have increased since the last update, but it's uh, nothing we can really do about that. Just keep trying, or uh, maybe I don't know, go back to menu or restart oh, yeah. the game. I can think of, but other than that, there's not much else we can really do. Is there? As you say, try and arrive at the coordinates. That's probably our best shot. Give up walking. <sighs> Can Yannick send you a request? Maybe it's my machine. I did. I sent him a couple of requests already, and the same with effect, you know. Yeah. I sent the third one now, I think so... he's blocking us, do you? <laughs> oh, hang on, I've got something. We wouldn't be able to see him if he was blocking well, us. Well, I got a friend request, but that's uh, not very helpful. I wouldn't put it past him. <laughs> oh, my. Uh, Can I just ask a question, guys? I've got, uh, I've got an unable to load message. Right. Your save game is at a location that this game version does not support. I, I believe that's on foot to in your ship, and it will just put you in your ship. Uh, but the last time I did that, I ended up 16,000 light years away from Endeavour. Can you go back into Odyssey, get uh, back in your ship, and then switch to Horizons? Uh, okay, yeah. Right, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, I've sent a couple more uh, team invites to you, JBL, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Nothing happening. Okay. It's interesting that they didn't fix that because it used to be if you were on foot and then you switched to Horizons, it would just put you back in your ship. As long as your ship was in the location that you were at, mm -hmm. it's interesting that they didn't fix fix that. Yeah, it yeah, seems yeah, an Joe, obvious thing to fix. Joe, I, I got I got your in I got your in-game message, Joe. I'm not, I'm, I mean, I'm, comms I'm, is basically working. Yeah. Yeah, everything but the actual in-team invite seems to be working. <laughs> thing we want back. the one thing we want exactly yeah Sorry. oh dear ah oh dear um yeah i have to go afk for just a couple of minutes but i will be back shortly i'll carry on pretending that it's a problem rather than we just don't want jbl in our
Welcome back. It's private group unreachable. Private group session. Mm. Yeah, that's a, another around, bug, isn't it? Chicken, all right, so. Right. Yeah. Kit, can you invite him, seeing as you presumably are in the same group? Invite whom? Rex. Rex, yep. I just could. Cool. Yeah, or, or that. One of the two. Whichever is easiest. Loading it on the surface, guys. Or, yeah. Or hanging above. On the surface. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Save you fuel. Save you e ecology. <laughs> it's the far future. No one cares about the ecology anymore. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. We won't be here. We'll do a runner. <laughs> They'll never catch us. I am back in supergroups. Yeah. I'm looking for team invites. <laughs> yeah. Again, we need a name. Okay. Right, right. <laughs> Anyone else who's down in the instance, try and wing people in as best you can. So it uh, increases the amount of people we can get in quickly. No, we're not friends, Graham, right? I have sent an invitation. Cool. That's it. Yeah. No. Sure. Yep, yep. Anyone in the instance down on the ground, please and send as many invites as you can. Yep. Uh, Matrix needs an invite. Okay. Ooh, Matrix. The, I keep forgetting to use the Matrix. Mm -hmm. yeah, the Matrix, Matrix yeah. I've, yeah. I've got nobody in my team, so if anyone needs a, a team invite, shout out your name, mm -hmm. and I'll add you with the... Rex the Capt. Say that again? Rex the Capt. Rex, you're still not in. I thought... Uh... Oh, I Rex. just uh, quit the... Uh... To fix the bug. Ah, uh, right. Let me <clears throat> try again then for you. There we go. That looks so good. Free in the link since I'm here already. Mm -hmm. Cool. Thank you. I'm getting the same error I was getting with JBL on yours, Rex. Mm -hmm. Well, looks like I am in Wing. Mm -hmm. I'm in Wing with the uh, Comet Born and uh, the Matrix. Okay. Let's see if we Are can you, get other can people. Can you see the rest of us? Logan, can you drop out, please? All right. Thank you. And Strapcast also, if you're with me, um, the right. leave, uh, now. leave the team. If I, can get to... I, uh, I spot the ship. I can't okay. find um, it. Correction, I spot the ship. Got it. Door. Prue, do you just want an invitation? Okay, who on Von Trapp's friend okay, list wants an invitation? Thank you. <laughs> I think next time I'm I just, we, we Because need. I was distracted, I just uh, turned my anaconda into a lawn dart. <laughs> oh, wow. How is it here? I was going to say, I think we need a chat channel and we yeah, need an I... invite channel. <laughs> so the invite I... channel is just a request for team invites. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, if everybody stopped chatting yeah, and no, just invited. <laughs> yeah, I mean, to be fair, I, I think it would be partly problematic because to start with, myself and Joe were sending off so many invites and none of them were landing. It's, it's just annoying when that happens. Uh, I mean, this is, this is one part of the game that's still temperamental well, as hell. We're gonna stop a little. Oh, well. We organized a party, but nobody wanted to come. Okay, Where everyone I came with no booze. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, hey, thank Joe you. Big Bangles, could you uh, send uh, Rex another team invite? Cool. I'll do it. Okay, um, I can invite. Who needs an invite? Uh, Shift TDC needs an invite if I have friended people correctly. Okay, I, I got Gwen. I've got 11 friends, by the way, because I, I delete them after every expedition. So if you need a, an invite, you really will have to send me a friend request because I can't do much without it. Okay. Yes, I am unable to target you and see your beacon. Okay. Well, uh, hey, there's, Gwen. there's several uh, of us here. If 
fighting Chank. Uh, Gonda, you have a place here. Damsy, I'll be sending you a team request. Okay. I see you, kid. Ramsey, what chip are you in? Very good. Rex and Gwen, could you leave the team, please? Because I'm all I'm seeing is ship types. I'm not seeing names. So I've got a hauler and a python and an anaconda. Hmm. Two anacondas. I'm one anaconda. What? I know. I'll just invite every all the anacondas to a team. Um, no, I'm in an uh, I'm aspect. I'm in the mind of the DBX. Ah, he's uh, one of them. Rex, can you invite me to Owing? I know it's sure. work with you. It's... I've sent a team request to a python owner hmm. i'm not get proud the door again. <laughs> python's a fine ship and i'm still waiting for a response from an and anaconda okay right let's have i still got a full team here oh dear two two instances do we have two one instances around me and one around jbl as long as we can see each mm. other that's all that matters okay yeah. like yeah. 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 Mm. did i get an invite Cambrian mollusk. Okay. Um, I'm in yeah. an orca. Okay, cool. I have a full wing of the mollusk. Send me a friend um, request, Precambrian. It's Joe underscore Bangles. Joe Bangles. Ready? Yep. Cool. Um, underscore, because it won't work otherwise. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right. If we have two separate yeah, instances, that's not terrible as long as everyone's in an instance with at least a few other people. That's the key part, because obviously this is not the first time we've had this problem. With people splintering different instances, even at the same location. There are sixteen of us in in my instance, so. Okay, that's not too bad. Time to land. Time to land. <clears throat> okay. Not that's... seen the friend request, Precambrian. Mm. Have you taken your business elsewhere? No, no, <laughs> I just sent it. Um, Landed. The last active twenty months ago. <laughs> oh, that's not right. <laughs> Uh, sounds about right. The last time I did anything was scratch my backside yeah. two months ago. Yeah. It's a good name, Precambrian Morgan. No, I'm still not getting your friend request. <laughs> right, let's have a look. Uh, one more space. <laughs> I mean, give me a moment. Oh, shit. I am in the very wrong place. So, who yet isn't in an instance on the ground? Jamsy. Goodness, Blaster. Rhythmus you see, but should be an instance in not too long. Right. Okay. Rhythmus okay. needs an invite. Mm-hmm. Okay. I got it. Thanks. Let's see if I pop up in the right instance here. Probably not. I don't have Rhythmus on my oh. friends list that I can see. Um. I got one now. Thanks, guys. Cool. Right. Just, uh, we, can now, we can now. We cannot use the Scorpion in Horizon. I've not tried to be honest. Um, yeah. there's, I see someone in Scorpion. Yeah, that's a Scorpion. Yeah, 4.0, 4. Okay. 4. you can yeah. use the Scorpion. Okay, cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you could always use I'm it in 4. Point. Yeah. 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 Sorry, who's asking for another invite? Who was that? Logan, I've just oh, sent yeah, it. Logan. Okay, cool. Is there anyone else who need, who isn't in any instance at all? Because we don't have to be yeah, in the same you. instance, just either one. So wait, who was asking? Shamsi has no instance. Okay. Um, Seeing as how my SRV just I, froze my game. I don't I'm have like, you on my friends yeah. list uh, at the oh, moment. Darn. No, I've uh, just sent a request to Joe Bangles. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I'm miles away. Um, my social. Okay, cool. Anyone else not on their way? This already? is odd. I can see everything happening in front of me, but I tried to launch my SRV and it's just like I can't do anything besides see people move around. Yeah, I'm still not getting any friend requests. There so if you sent me one, it hasn't worked. Who are you trying to contact? 
I it wasn't. Someone was trying. Who? Someone said they. I don't know. Oh, it's I... Shamsy. I tried. I think you oh, accepted it earlier. Yeah. I'll send you. Uh, I'll send you a team thing when I get my life sorted out. Yeah. <laughs> I will also send a friend request. Is that a fire girl? Oh. I wonder if oh, bringing yeah. a smaller ship might help. Always. <laughs> More room on the planet. Then. True, true, true. I try to get my uh, dolphin, but JBL keeps moving his carrier around, so I struggle to find remember where it is. <laughs> okay. Shamsi, I've sent you Bear a friend a request. Second. Yeah, Shamsi, I've sent you a team request. Feed. Oh, you're in the team. I, I accepted, yeah. Yep. yep. Sorry. Okay. My yeah, you didn't invite me back in. They dumped me alone. Was that that trip, was it? Yeah. Damn freeze. Okay. okay. Oh, looks like a Reaver Python just arrived. I'm going to need external cameras to make sure I don't uh, land on any small ships. Uh, Rithmus and Logan, could you leave the team, please? Uh, uh, let me uh, leave once I actually get on the ground. Oh, you're still on the approach. Okay. Fine. Apparently, Commander Joe Bangles declined my friend request. I feel hurt. It probably timed out. Uh, it we, that's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> I've got no friend request. Send it again. I will. If that doesn't work, I'll send you one. Nope, still not received it. How do you spell your name? My, oh, there it's P R E P R E Cambrian, Cambrian as in the rock. R I A N underscore mollusk. Or then a space then mollusk. M O double L L U S. I've also sent you a friend request. I'm not seeing it. Yeah, Ha, ah, the old SRV on there. the camera, sorry, on the canopy trick. Um, <laughs> I sent you a friend request, uh, sorry. Trick and Mollusk. I'm on site if you want to get an invite. I got kits in yours. So, uh, so. Oh dear. Trick and Mollusk, just to check my mm. spelling P R E C A M Brian underscore Mollusk. Oh, space. Space. Oh, yes, yeah, space. <laughs> Yep, that's Is right. it checking spaces now? Because it never used to. <laughs> okay. I think it's just... Let me try space. Yeah. Is it sees it as an underscore. Oh. Oh, there you are. Yes, active in the last hour. Cool. Add friend. There you go. And now mm -hmm. I'll just double back and add you as... Hang on. Someone else sent me a friend request. I sent a team invitation. So it looks like we have two separate instances one with myself Definitely. and then kit has another one i think as well so if we're going to do these sort of maneuvers kit if you can be the go-to guy in your instance and uh i think jbl's in mine uh, if uh yeah if jbl you could do because we're gonna we're gonna do the mass landing at the end of my uh, Apollo 17 talk, but I don't worry, I'll, I'll mention it during the talk as well when people should get airborne. But uh, yeah, right. so Kit and JB are going to be the coordinators for the mass landing uh, when that happens. So I'm going to get on with the uh, Apollo 17 talk in just a second. But obviously, the funny thing is with this expedition is like it's kind of grown in complexity because originally I was going to do Apollo 17, then I thought 
wait a minute, I might actually just do a big expedition. And then JBL said, why don't you just combine those? I'm like, yeah, that's a really good idea, actually, just put them together. And like, I've so the Apollo 17 bit is like this last bit here. And we've also got the Andromeda Do people here as well. So it's like, you know, three for the price of one, really. <laughs> so there you have it. Uh, those of you who see the stream now or watch the uh, VOD back later on, I sort of made a, a sort of three-way image with the uh, Andromeda Do the passage to Andromeda and like the actual Apollo 17 mission sort of patches all together. And so I thought that was quite fun. And uh, we've got the usual SRV fun going on here. Hey, Canberra and Marlis, I'm, <laughs> I'm getting message back from my, my wing request that you're already in a group, in a wing. Yes, yeah, in my team. Ah, splendid. Yeah, there's two separate instances here. Um, yeah. Can I just mm -hmm. say to people in, in my um, instance that we're going to be hovering in our ships at about 25 past seven. Um, so be ready to to do that. I see several people in SRVs at the moment. Yeah. yeah. You can leave your yeah. Oh. Going back. What? Yeah. What I will do is that I'll leave my ship in the air actually, because obviously I'm going to be doing the uh, the talky bit, and I'll probably have enough coordination to do both at the same time. But you know, uh, don't juggle and run at the same time. But yeah, I'll gain. Uh, Actually, I'll take to the skies now, so I don't have to do it later. But no one else has to just yet if they don't want to. Right, and just hover slightly <coughs> above the surface. Okay, cool. What I'm going to do is I am... Yes, yeah, we're good. We're in plenty of time. We're doing okay. I'm, I'll leave this Discord uh, VC, and then I'm going to... This is going to be purely on the stream for about 10 minutes or so. And then I will rejoin the voice chat here hopefully for the uh the mass landing at the end of it uh if everyone would like to actually start watching the stream the link is actually in announcements in this discord to all the aa people particularly most of the passage randomity people sort of know the thing but yeah it's it's just so i do these sort of like historical talks and all this so far this expedition has mostly been about the elite community and the history of elite and because this is the fourth elite iteration remember but this is actually my historical historical talk as in real life one and i've not done one of those for a while so it's uh kind of interesting and hopefully fun for people so i will see you all shortly uh on the stream <laughs> And greetings to everyone, that everyone out there in Twitch land, a big hello to you, everyone out there in Twitch chat, wonderful to have you, thank you and hello to everyone out there on Passage to Andromeda and our guests at Andromeda Adieu as well. 
So yeah, I hope you like my sort of three-way design for uh, yeah, Apollo 17, PAE, AE, uh, because it's, uh, it's an interesting one, because those of you who've been uh, with me for a while uh, have all known, oh, hey, Logan in the chat, awesome. Yeah, those of you who've uh, been on some expeditions before will probably remember Apollo 11 and Apollo 15, which we did the historical sort of rundown of those. Uh, I had usually a lot longer the entire expedition to go through the sort of historical bits and pieces of those, but this is pretty much a summary. This particular waypoint, waypoint 13 of Passage to Andromeda, is Cernan, named after Eugene Andrew Cernan, otherwise known as the last man on the moon. Oh, hey in the chat, Cook Grenade, Logan, Sato, or Gibbon, and anyone else who's out there, welcome to you all. Right, as you say, yeah, and uh, Eugene Andrew Cernan, known as the uh, always the last man on the moon. This is the central character to our story. Basically, Cernan was a veteran of three different space missions. Uh, the first one of those uh, being Apollo Nine. Technically, it's not Apollo Nine. Sorry, Gemini Nine. Technically, Gemini Nine A. But we'll get to why that is in a second. But you see the picture he has there. You look very carefully. There's actually the uh, Apollo 10 badge. But his three space missions were, say, Gemini 9A, Apollo 10, and Apollo 17, which he actually was commander of. But interesting first thought with this guy. He was very unusual, even amongst national astronauts, because like, apart from that, he was like the only like Roman Catholic amongst them. Like maybe one other person amongst all the Protestants. In those days, you had to be a Christian. All of them had to be, at least outwardly anyway, but that was just America of the era. But the most interesting thing about him was that he's the only lunar landing commander and the only Apollo commander, I think, ever to have not been a test pilot. Because for a while, it was actually mandatory. The first two NASA astronaut classes, it was mandatory to be a test pilot. He was in the third group. I think one of the people like Buzz Aldrin, also not a test pilot. But yeah, they're in the minority amongst the sort of elite astronauts of NASA during this time. This is the mission patch, the actual full solar missile patch for uh, Gemini 9A with Stafford and Cernan. Tom Stafford being the other guy. As you can tell from the patch, it's supposed to be their mission was supposed to be a docking rendezvous with the uh, Agena upper stage, hence that's the little thing you can see next to the Gemini capsule on the right, and uh, do America's second spacewalk, which would have been the third spacewalk overall. But there was planned one previously on Gemini 8, but that never happened because they had a, an emergency, which is a different story and for a different time. Now, Gemini 9A is for a very s sad reason, essentially. The original crew, Gemini 9, both died in a plane crash. It was these two gentlemen, Elliot C on the left, and um, on the right uh, we have uh, Charlie Bassett. Uh, I think uh, both of them obviously well-respected test pilots. Bassett particularly was considered to be like one of the great uh, sort of hopes of the future of NASA, but I think that day Elliot C was flying the plane and they crashed literally into the factory where the Gemini spacecraft were being made and miraculously did not kill anyone other than themselves. But unfortunately the original crew being wiped out meant that the backup crew, which was, uh, as you see, Eugene Cernan and Thomas Stafford. Cernan on the right, Stafford on the left of the picture. Obviously it was a terrible thing to lose their friends and comrades but this is the point of backup crews. You have backup crews in also in military situations so that they both go through the same training for a particular mission or particular task so that if the original crew is ill or unfortunately passes away, the backup crew will take their place. It's often just one person, but I think it's the only time in NASA's whole history that an entire crew was wiped out all at once uh, before the mission had even happened. But Cernan all of a sudden finds himself in the position that he is going to fly in space a bit sooner than he thought. He was originally in the rotation to be, I think, the crew on would have been Gemini 12, the last Gemini mission. But this is like some, yeah, about three missions earlier. 
and he's uh, thrust into a position of having to do the job a little bit before he was probably totally ready. But as I say, having done the same training as the main crew, they knew what they were doing in a sort of a general sense. Stafford had the slight advantage. He'd been to space once before. But this is the crew of uh, Gemini 9A. But as I say, there's a lot of information to summarize, but very quickly, the Gemini 9 mission was very complicated, probably too ambitious early on, because Gemini 8 didn't actually manage its spacewalk. They were trying to do too much too quickly. And these days, we have spacewalks kind of nailed down pretty well. But at this time, this is literally the only, the literally the third human spacewalk, and the other two were very, very short. This was the first one for any real length of time beyond about, you know, 20 minutes. I think it lasted about an hour and a bit, but during this time, the spacesuit was not really designed properly for what it was supposed to do. No one had any idea yet of how to design a spacesuit to operate you know, properly with all the sort of flexibility one would need to do move tools, move around even in a vacuum, because Newton's laws of mechanics apply you know, equal and opposite reactions, you move yourself slightly. On Earth, it would mean no difference, but in space, you could end up spinning because of that. They didn't have tethers. They didn't have flexible joints on the spacesuits. Anything that was, or even footholds, or uh, you know, to keep yourself from floating away into the void. Essentially, at this point, they had very much none of the modern things that a spacesuit has. But say this was very early in the day. They didn't have much knowledge about spacewalking. And initially, a lot of people actually blamed Cernan for its relative failure. I mean, let's not put too fine a point on this. This man nearly died. And he put at risk also his uh, comrade Tom Stafford dying as well. Not through any fault of his own, because they didn't know enough. So he couldn't be trained in something they didn't know. But... For a while afterwards, NASA wasn't sure about CERN, and they didn't think that he maybe had the right stuff after all. But then the next American spacewalk, which was done by Michael Collins, the Michael Collins of Apollo 11 fame, actually found out that this was not really going too well either. I think Dick Gordon also experienced the same thing on another Gemini flight. All these other spacewalkers were running into the same kind of problems, so it wasn't just CERN. So obviously any kind of cloud over his head was then released. Ah, this is interesting. Yeah, Logos makes a very good point in chat. So I was about Buzz Aldrin. Yep, yeah, that's absolutely true. Buzz Aldrin was the, the, the main, the first spacewalk America had to actually solve all these problems. And he made it his mission, I think, in NASA to sort these problems out and uh, get a spacesuit and a sort of a way of working in space that actually was what we would consider now to be useful and practical. Very intelligent guy, Buzz Aldrin. But, yeah, the uh, the crew nearly didn't make it because at one point Cernan was so exhausted that they uh, he wasn't sure if he would actually make it or not. His heart rate was like 190 to 200 for an already very fit guy because essentially he was moving against the atmosphere in his own spacesuit and it had not been designed to... to and his uh, visor kept on fogging up, but none of these things helped. If you imagine an environment where you can't see what you're doing in a completely alien environment outside the atmosphere with a suit that is almost as stiff as a rock and it takes incredible effort just to bend an arm and bending that arm might actually send you falling off into the void only to be held on by your sort of combined oxygen hose and tether but yeah it would have frightened most people to death but our hero here is made of sterner stuff and him and his comrade both survived, which is a very interesting start to his career. On a happier note, Apollo 10 then rolls around. His old chum uh, Tom Stafford is there with obviously John Young, another very famous astronaut. Obviously, this is Apollo 10 was the dress rehearsal for Apollo 11. They did everything Apollo 11 did apart from the last bit the last part of the descent and the touchdown, everything else, they did literally the same with the same target in mind as Apollo 11. And uh, Eugene Cernan there was the lunar module pilot, and Tom Stafford being the commander was the other guy in the lunar module. And in the guy in the middle, that is John Young, and he was the uh, command module pilot. A slightly fun part of this era is Snoopy, the uh, command module 
and Lunar Module were named after Peanuts characters. Charlie Brown was the Command Module, and Snoopy was the Lunar Module. Snoopy is now actually somewhere still in solar orbit after all these years. Imagine some alien civilization in the far future sort of finds it the only remnant of humanity might actually be Command Module, sorry, Lunar Module Snoopy. <laughs> I always thought this was like a nice touch. Apparently NASA did it, you know, to actually get kids into the space program, which kids are anyway, you know. I certainly was. Most of us probably were. This is before the launch of the Snoopy mascot. <laughs> we get to the real meat of the matter here. Apollo 10 in orbit of the moon. The Obviously, this is the uh, upper part of the lunar module after it's actually completed its descent simulation it's the lower stage has been jettisoned as if they were taking off again from the lunar surface and then obviously returning. This is slightly out of sequence. This is an earlier image from when they obviously still had the lower stage attached to it. Our hero, Gene Cernan, continues uh, to actually climb the ranks within NASA, but to say, despite not being a test pilot and actually being a relatively low-ranked astronaut at the time of Apollo 10, he has some experience behind him, so he starts to... You know, wouldn't say ingratiate himself, but definitely try to talk himself up to the NASA hierarchy. And he lands his next key job, which is the uh, Apollo 14 backup commander. Now, this is unusual. You're supposed to really go through, like, being the lunar module part, of, maybe the command module part next. And finally, you might be able to command a lunar mission. Some of the earlier astronauts kind of skipped those ages because they were the first people to ever do it. But Cernan kind of skipped ahead in a way. He, he convinced uh, Deke Slate and their head of NASA crew, essentially to make him the backup commander for Apollo 14. So as you know, backup crews will literally shadow the work of the main crews. So obviously he knew what he was doing in that regard. I think managed to convince NASA that he was actually a worthy candidate for consideration uh, for later lunar landing commands, which he obviously did. This is kind of fun also for uh, the perspective of mission patches. This is actually the only backup crew that ever had a patch. They made it for themselves just to mock the main crew, in a friendly kind of way, of course. You see, you got the Roadrunner there on the left, is actually the, the backup crew saying that, oh yeah, we can beat you to the moon, guys. And this sort of like red Roadrunner on the right is kind of mocking the actual crew, saying that they're a sort of a bit old and maybe past it. But it's kind of fun. On a serious note, this is the two backup and main crews of Apollo 14 doing geology field work because they were all trained to obviously be able to work out different kinds of geology on the moon, different structures. I know like these days in Elite we do some of that when we go to the surfaces and start trying to identify different things but it's uh yeah they were they as the missions went on they became more and more scientific and they became more and more sort of you know, ingrained in the process of geology, obviously to the point where they actually sent geologists to the moon on uh, our flight of Apollo 17. He has a good points. the chat made by uh, Logan here. Yep, all of these good points. I Absolutely, yep. But here we are, Apollo 17. After a, a while of uh, maybe putting himself into a position that he never really dreamed of being through sort of hard work, persistence, and uh, just a little bit of talent as well, uh, Cernan is actually appointed to be the commander of Apollo 17, the last lunar mission by NASA of the 20th century. Now, this is the, it was a slightly controversial decision in some ways because on paper, say Cernan really wasn't the better candidate, hypothetically, if you looked at their resume CVs. The, his main rival for the job was Dick Gordon, a friend of his and the, the uh, command module pilot of Apollo 12. And he, had, Dick Gordon had been uh, the, uh, a test pilot for years. He'd been the uh, backup commander of Apollo 15. He knew what he was doing. And yeah, theoretically, a lot of NASA also thought that he should be the man. But ultimately, NASA's higher-ups decided to pick Gene Cernan to be that guy. Uh, Obviously, the the next interesting element of this, of our crew here, we have the other two crewmates on the left. This is Harrison Smith, otherwise known as Dr. Rock, the first and only 
professional geologist to land on another world. Actually, the only professional scientist to ever landed on another world to this day. Obviously, Artemis is probably going to change that in the near future. But uh, obviously, it was the last Apollo mission. So NASA think, and the scientific community were saying, well, we've got these astronaut sciences. Why don't we actually send one up this time? Because obviously the scientific community was itching to get one of their own, especially the geologists. I mean, if you're going to go send the first scientists to the moon, who are you going to send? I think it came down to an astronomer or a geologist. Really, a geologist is the person you want to take, isn't it? If you want to t pick the best rocks, you want to find out the most you possibly can, where you can still send a human being up there. And yeah, it was because obviously some people pointed out it's like, wait a minute, didn't Buzz Aldrin have a PhD? Oh, yeah, he, he did, but he was a pilot first who got a PhD later in life. Buzz Aldrin was never a professional scientist at any point. He was a professional pilot with a PhD. Um, and also, I think the co module pilot of Apollo 14 was in a very similar position. Again, a professional pilot who had a PhD, but kind of similar characters, those guys. Uh, at the top of the picture on the right, we also have uh, Ron Evans, who is a a fairly well decorated military pilot and actually uh i think a bunkmate of gene cernan in their navy career so they knew each other before he was the command module pilot on this that's uh one evans there with the usual sort of nasa picture when they get selected for a flight a picture of, of the of a sort of globe of the moon and uh obviously a nice picture of the american flag and their sort of nice white space suits it wasn't going to be white by the end of it but <laughs> yeah we have harrison smith uh, sadly, the only surviving member of uh, the crew who's still with us, but uh, definitely sort of a legend for, for being, say, the only scientist to have actually seen another world with their own eyes that close up. This is the last, not just the last lunar landing, and it was required, obviously, a lot of intense scientific training and having a geologist around massively accelerated that process. I mean, Harrison Smith had actually been a scientific advisor to NASA even after he was selected as an astronaut. But he helped refine the process of scientific training. But this was the J series of missions. Apollo 15, 16, and 17 were considered to be the new J scientific focus missions. Even though before 17, the other two had not actually um, you know, geological or professional scientists, but they did have very highly trained pilots who had actually expressed an interest in geology. And this is a good picture of some of the, the training in a huge sandpit that NASA still has, actually, I think, at uh, Cape Canaveral. Obviously, to simulate the kind of lunar surface and what you would do there. This is the simulation of the lunar module. The tiny space, that kind of shows you some of the scale of how small this actually is. And you live there for the moon well, for three days, three days in this tiny space. And that's obviously with your equipment as well. It's, it's going to get pretty interesting after a while probably a little bit of cabin fever i would expect <laughs> then again it's like that's all they could take at this point this is a wonderful image i think of uh the launch of apollo 17 it's the only night launch of that era and done so so they could actually hit their certain spot of the moon in the torres Letro valley at that time I think there was a double factor as well. There's an obvious point that most of you, I'm sure, out there are thinking. They did this because it was the last one. They did it deliberately at night to be as spectacular as possible. And I think you're correct. That is definitely part of the equation here. I think the night launch, I think normally the, the eyewitnesses of the Apollo Saturn launches tend to be like it was a sort of primal experience. You'd feel the ground shaking like it was an earthquake and you'd feel like your whole body sort of being vibrated miles away by this sort of massive rocket. I'm sure it's probably the same with SLS at the moment, similar levels of power. But if you see that at night, it's like seeing the world's largest ever firework. It just doesn't explode. It just keeps on going. We all know this image. This, I think, was voted one of the most iconic images of the 20th century. This is the famous, sorry, the famous blue marble. The blue marble being the first kind of, I think, I don't know, human taken sort of macro image of the Earth like that. That was sort of widely publicized. Obviously, NASA taken them before, but not like this. This was obviously like circulated through so many textbooks, newspapers, articles in history because... Yeah, I think to a lot of people at the time it encapsulated 
the sort of the new awakening that how fragile the earth's environment was and the knowledge that we might actually be causing climate change and that how fragile our home really was i mean that's one common theme with all the apollo astronauts i think every single one of them has said it gave them a greater perspective not just on humanity but the so the sort of the richness and the beauty and the fragileness of our own world and how it motivated them all to actually help try and preserve it for future generations on the way to the moon this is where today's uh, in-game landing zone is named after this is an orbital picture of the valley of taurus litro in elite uh, both versions of it 3.8 and 4.0 does a, a fair job at simulating these kinds of terrain this isn't anywhere near as sort of massive a mountains or hill range as you would find in like the apollo 15 missions which was the apennine mountains and mount hadley uh, those were quite substantial mountains these are sort of relatively low ones or just large hills in comparison but you see at the center of the image is the valley that they were aiming for one with the crate in the middle of that where the hill was sort of surrounding it this was considered to be a landing site of very strong scientific importance and that's why they actually uh, decided to go there it was spotted funnily enough by the naked eye and identified by the apollo 15 uh, command module pilot who actually was doing a sort of various photographs from orbit while the other two were were down on the ground but then he thought well, what's that over there that looks really interesting and then he relayed that to nasa and says like what are this area of the moon here and they said we don't really know much about that actually and then the scientists of nasa decided we well, should investigate that and they eventually did and this kind of determined apollo 17's landing site right getting down to really amongst the dirt here this is the map of where the mission went this is where they drove obviously we have the lunar roving vehicle the lunar rover obviously we always analogize this to srvs in in elite and it's a good analogy this is really slow in comparison and this battery packs out much much quicker than an srv would but you know it's it's fun to see you driving around like uh real people have done on our own moon as you can see there's the pictures of the various craters they drove between the the north and south massif at the uh extremes of their range obviously this is not done under this is under a whole period of about three days so they obviously they try to pack out this three-day period for as much scientific observation much sampling as they could driving around visiting as many different areas different craters undulations in the terrain foothills if they could uh, anything that was interesting as you see everything's labeled uh, different crater names of places that they were investigating they didn't manage to visit all of these some of these other ones at the bottom here that you can see i think they were supposed to visit those but i think because some of the other investigations took too much time that they were unable to do that but it's yeah i just i look forward to artemis visiting similar places and uh learning more about these sites you know i think logan so say you could talk in detail about the dust on the moon i was going to get around to this actually like taurus litro even compared to the other places astronauts landed upon the moon had a much much denser regolith the sand the lunar sand was actually much more grainier the grains were a lot bigger and a lot sharper and it was a lot dirtier like the the sand kind of ingrained on their suits as you can see in this image and many others the suits were a lot grayer a lot less white because the fact that the valley was literally dirtier and these larger grains would like stick in like the different sort of you know undulations of their suit and they had to often when they got back to the lunar module after a day's work they would have to like brush it out of the various sort of joints and crevices and things and at one point they were beginning to worry that this was actually damaging their equipment and it was starting to actually erode bits of the equipment that they had and it's quite remarkable if you think about it they didn't know in advance that this would happen but you know obviously they for three days it was okay but if they had to spend like seven days doing the same thing they, they were beginning to worry that it might start to wear away the spacesuits and it might not be safe for them anymore 
but some remarkable images. Obviously, as the Apollo missions went on, the the cameras they took obviously got better, and I think also their photography techniques got a bit better as well. Because by the time you get to like yeah, Apollo 15, 16, 17, you've got these very high resolution cameras. I mean, these images are indistinguishable from like modern digital high resolution photography. I mean, images like this, I mean, could be now. It really could. I mean, spacesuit design isn't as radically different since they actually say got the idea of having uh, proper joints on them and, and understood how the human body would actually move in a vacuum, especially under one sixth gravity. This is one of my favorite images because it's kind of, you can tell it's like shot on the fly. Uh, you've got Cernan at the middle of it, but then you've also got the sort of, you can see the equipment, but then you see the earth in the distance. And it's, uh, it's an amazing picture. This is just like, again, another really casual image that sort of brings it home. Because obviously you do get these uh, sceptics who say we never went to the moon. Conspiracy theories is probably the correct word. but And you see, the, obviously, apart from the myriad of proof, it's these sort of like casual photos almost of each other. Sort of like almost like living a normal life. But they happen to be in this tiny lunar module on the surface of another planet, you know. But yeah, I think that's quite a, a fun shot because, yeah, uh, Smith looks pretty happy in this. Obviously, you can see there's quite a lot of dirt and grime around from uh, the lunar surface. Yeah, we were talking about cars on the moon in the chat. Yeah, absolutely. This is probably the best picture, I think, of the, uh, of the lunar rover, obviously, in front of the lunar lander itself. But yeah, that's a good one. I think that was taken right at the beginning, not long after they landed. Actually, this image is particularly interesting because not to the minute or anything, but within a few hours, this actually happened 50 years ago now. 11th of December, 1972. You can tell it's early in the mission because look how white their suits are. It's as white as they got out of the bag, basically. It didn't stay that way for very long, but... Yeah, you can definitely tell. At this point, also, the Lunar Rover looks pristine. It has literally, like, no dust on it at all. Yeah, you're right, Logan, absolutely. Logan's just saying in the chat about the later Apollo missions, you can always tell who the commander is because of the red stripe on their spacesuits. I think 13 was the first one, but they never landed on the moon. So it's always, like, 14 to 17 that you see the red stripe for the commander. This is true. I think the photography of Apollo 11 is actually mostly, I think, is it is it like Armstrong taking pictures of Aldrin rather than the other way around? So most of the pictures you see of Apollo 11 do tend to be of Aldrin. There's the odd one of Armstrong, but not too many. This is another cool picture. This is Schmidt with a, just a large rock. I think maybe there's something kind of quite, you know, I don't know, representative about it. Isn't that you've got this geologist, this scientist for the first time, on the moon and he's just like fascinated by this rock i mean he could have probably spent years up there doing his thing but unfortunately he only had a few days to do it another cool one with the earth in the background again cernan with the american flag after sort of leaving the moon this is an interesting picture because using a cernan spacesuit uh, Ron Evans did his spacewalk, but this is literally in, I think, uh, space between the Earth and the Moon, essentially. I think about almost halfway between the two. They did a spacewalk to retrieve a canister of film from one of the equipment bays down the command module, sorry, down the side of the service module. And the only way to get to this was to spacewalk out, go along the side of the service module, and then take the film uh, roll as it were in the canister you can see that little bit to the left that's sort of floating there tethered uh, to him and obviously what they do is depressurize their command module flip open the hatch and then sort of yeah gradually move along the side of it there's obviously that they put handrails on the later missions because there were these sort of cameras i think in like ultraviolet infrared and a few other things inside the service modules bays this is one thing that the early ones, like Apollo 11 and 12, didn't have. And so you see these later uh, Apollo missions having the deep space. But this is kind of intriguing because this particular picture, I think, is taken of Evans doing, I think, the furthest spacewalk into, like, between planets or outside of our world that there's ever been 
it is literally i think at like the furthest point that isn't on the moon of course but the furthest point outside the earth that anyone's like done a sort of regular spacewalk that isn't like around a planet uh so yeah it's a record holder in in that regard but uh that concludes our little adventure into the apollo 17 part of this and uh, i will now be returning to the surface anyone who's not already airborne um actually no sorry scratch that uh pause that thought a second stay airborne for the moment anyone else who hasn't or well, the instances in elite please get airborne if you're not already done so i have something of interest i will just have to pause this a second bear with me the sound probably isn't going to be on this one but that's just the the way it is if you get sound on this it's a bonus but it should have like the commentary from the actual descent from apollo 17 but here we go this is a simulation of the descent from the perspective of outside and also in the command module itself Okay, cool. Are you seeing this okay, chat? Is this doing okay? Have you got any sound at all on this? I don't think I'm getting it either. Yeah, no, that's unfortunate. For some reason, I've had a problem getting the sound from the game as well today. Yeah, that's a problem. Can you see the video okay, though? That's the main thing. <laughs> okay, cool. The valley has been sighted. The landing zone is ahead. No, I think there's no sound. I haven't got the sound either for some reason. I've tried to troubleshoot that one, but sadly there's no sound. You should be hearing the sounds of uh, Schmidt and Cernan 
but unfortunately you just got me. <laughs> I don't think it's quite real time. I mean, Apollo 11 and 15 expeditions we did actually do in real time uh, like 50 years ago to the second kind of thing. But I don't think we've quite had the window right for this one. I think we'd had to be, we'd be much later in the day and not everyone could have attended. Yeah. No, that's true, the Southern Ocean. All this stuff, this, uh, you know, there is some autopilot. It's a sort of semi-autopilot going on. Uh, yeah, there's a certain amount of auto throttle as well, but it's still very hard to fly on manual. This last bit you're seeing, that's always flown on manual. So yeah, yeah, it's pure Newtonian physics. You're just firing thrusters and yeah, it's a hard thing to do. Kerbal's a very educational game, very educational. Yeah, the skill to land this. I mean, yeah, Cerner may not be the test pilot, but God, he had some skill. And you just don't consider how hard it is. It's going to be how fragile the lunar module is. I mean, the thing's like tinfoil. It was designed to be as light as possible, and it exists only in a one-sixth gravity environment. It's a remarkable record. All the lunar landing command has made exceptional landings. There were no even like dodgy landings. Okay, everyone in game, get ready to descend. Stand by. Stand by. and descend. Mass landing, please. You can see the shadow, the command module. And we're about to land. I think I'll be the last to do so in game in a moment. <laughs> and I think he's about to make contact. Contact light's probably about now. And then they drop down. Yay. There you have it. Everyone should have dropped down by now. Okay. I'll do it myself. <laughs> 50 years ago, we salute. Apollo 17. Well, that was fun. Cool. Right, now we're back to uh, the instance and we're back to Elite Dangerous. But yeah. Hey, Commander Shamsi, first time chatter. Howdy. Yeah, thanks for everyone on Twitch who's been watching. We're going to continue on the stream until we finished and probably a little bit into the after party as well but uh, that's the Apollo 17 segment uh, finished and I'll return to the discord chat as well hopefully that was educational and a little bit entertaining as well yeah it's kind of difficult to sync it completely but it's uh yeah, it's, it is hard. I mean, we did on Apollo 11 and 15 expeditions. It's never possible to completely sync it, but you can get it approximately right, you know. Well, that's the thing, exactly B8. It's, it's the Twitch delay is kind of complicated. But you can get it within a few seconds anyway. But it's cool. It's the thought that counts. <laughs> yeah, I'll be returning to uh, to Discord now. We're all back on this one. Greetings, everyone. It's back here now.
cool. Right, now we've got a good number of people. I think, have we still got two instances uh, separately? Yeah, still two instances. Cool. Uh, yeah, that's not so bad. As long as they're stable instances, that's the main thing. So, uh, yeah, I think time-wise, um, we're not doing uh, too badly, actually. Um, we're slightly behind, but it's like, you know, not terminally so. <laughs> Right, we've done the mass landing. Don't want to have two hits. Sorry. No, I'm just looking through the uh, the running order at the moment. I think we're about thirty minutes behind where we thought we'd be, but that's not totally unexpected either. Right, I think now it's time to perform our mass launch into space. And uh, those of you who haven't done this one before, it involves basically rolling the ships onto their backs and sort of lying on the ground as you were like pointing vertically like a rocket. So that we can then sort of launch into orbit and uh, do our thing up there. We'll, we, the point that when we, we meet in an orbit, when I say orbit, it's actually going to be uh, near the carrier, well, next to the carrier passage to Andromeda. So that's like orbiting the star basically, but quite a way out. Okay, so uh, let's try this. Yeah, the uh, take up. Yeah, say the, yeah, most people have got the idea exactly. You take the ship and you throw it onto its back, pointing at the sky, and then make it touch the Earth. Yep. Okay. It's like everyone in this instance is going to collide with in the center or something. I'm just going to so, go to uh, external check camera. Pictures, people. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, this is a good time to take photos as well. If you want to do that, this is a good time for that. <clears throat> Ooh, watch out! I've accidentally set myself in the wrong mode. <laughs> me out. Wait, me out. Not yeah, bad. me too. I've I've just accidentally switched external camera without turning the, uh, the thrusters off. Ah. Uh. Why does it gone? Now that you have seen it, totally. Oh, I hate it when this happens. It makes everyone look like, what well, makes me look like an amateur. <laughs> yeah, it's an understandable oh, mistake. Oh. Come back, Mr. Crate. What's going on? Is my, my joypad malfunctioning or something? I don't know why it keeps doing that. Mm. Sorry. Right. Uh, you just need to lift up. I think my instance is ready to go. Okay, cool. Yeah, my, my yeah, I think we are. that's cool. Okay, ready for mass launch into space. Uh, I'll do the the countdown in a second. If we're all ready, in position, in five, four, three, two, one, and let's go. It's always interesting to see whoever takes me because this ship isn't actually that fast. <laughs> I think I got bumped by somebody on the way. Disruptive mass. <laughs> oh dear. You've got to laugh, really. So, oh, and we are going back to the Endeavour? No, no. Uh, we're going to the carrier oh, no. passage, passage to Andromeda, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm mass locked by somebody else. It's taking a while to charge, but it gives me some good shots of the uh, the trails of everyone else. <laughs> yes, yeah, probably mass locked by the whole of our instance. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I am mass locked. Yeah. locked by my ego, which is quite, <laughs> quite impressive. Oh wow! Yeah. Ma <laughs> My joke about someone, but no, it's not that's real. It starts with M. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's real. Oh well. Cool. Right, set course for the carrier. Thirty-two kilometers and still mass locked. By yeah, something. I got that as well. I think someone did it to me on purpose. Someone does that sometimes. Doctor Nagi used to do it to me all the time on purpose. 
I finally are jumping. Yeah. Okay, right. Uh, heading to the carrier so, passage. Just to note, never touch the external camera while you are standing on your engines on the ground. It's not going to work. Uh, it, it does work, but you've got well, to get the angle right. Yeah. yeah. Right, okay. I has tried it twice. <laughs> no. Uh, just to make so a massage sure to the uh, highway would... Just to make sure it's the Endeavor that's heading back to out to Star 1. That's right, yeah. Endeavor's heading back to Star 1. Okay. okay. Where it's going to rendezvous. So there's going to be like a mass carrier rendezvous. The only carrier that's not going to be at Star 1 in the next few hours will be Passage to Andromeda. That's going to be just, you know, in the next system, basically. That is where we run by the JBL isn't Skia in the 38 light year yes, it yeah, is. distant Skia system. Is at, yes. is at CWE D11. Okay. Yeah, so that we, might be a better place for me to go for people who still want to transfer things. Sure, although a 38 uh, light year. Yes, please, Kit. Yeah. We also have continue. Um, like uh, Odyssey Mida, right here in A one. Well, look, yeah, I mean, yeah, the Endeavor is the best way back for all your stuff if you want to switch to another carrier or do whatever else you need to do. But um, Endeavor won't be leaving for a while anyway, I don't think, from this system, at least for a few hours. Um, oh yeah, passage. No, no, I'll wait until everything's done. Okay, cool. Yeah, and, it, and if you're coming on the Andr Andromeda Radio mission, then either skier to Numatos or Intrepidus. You have the advantage that you can pronounce it Intrepidus. <laughs> yeah. A skier is manageable. Yeah. Yeah, I, so, I've put all my ships on skier. I forgot about the possible modules that I left on Andromeda. So. <laughs> Okay, we're close to Passage to Andromeda. Right. Well, I'm at Passage to Andromeda. Cool, right. Were there any actual events at Passage to Andromeda? Yeah, this is what we're going to do, Passage to Andromeda. Mm -hmm. This is this is why we're heading there now. Because it's not to dock, because that's not really an option. I deliberately turned that off so, uh, you know, it wouldn't distract from anything else oh, that we're doing. Oh, well, <laughs> oh, in that case, let me turn around. I was headed to Endeavor because I thought we were pretty much done. No, no, no. We're gonna, we are going to mass jump, but the passage Andromeda is going to be the backdrop to our mass jumping. Uh, okay, we got the lap uh, at the passage of Andromeda. Yeah? Okay. Passage to Andromeda. Yes. Okay. Um, Kit, if you would like to get into position via the passage to Andromeda as the target. If that's okay, I, I'll do that. Yep, on the way. Awesome. Uh, we need to bring people in, don't we? I can only see this is true. Three, yeah. three yeah. ships at the moment. Yeah, okay, I, I can see a few. Yeah, the three people in the instance with me, I can see them flying around as well. Yeah. JPL, are you going to lead the? Yes. Assuming, I guess, yep. assuming we're all in the right instance, I can see several yeah, signals. Yeah, me too. Yeah, so exactly. Okay. So oh, I'm going to stop outside. Three. Yeah, I've got. I don't have any. I don't have any contacts, but I've got the distant flashing. I've, yeah, I've got JBL and Getadoy within my sensor range, so uh, that's okay. What's yeah, the uh, mass jump target system? Uh, we'll get to that in a bit. We've got a few things to do right. first. Um, Sorry. Okay. Let's get everyone. Bright red carrier. Mm -hmm. Let's get everyone here Let's first. Call yeah, off. Yeah, throw a little hot rod red in there. That'll uh, keep it nice and inconspicuous. <laughs> it doesn't red go faster. faster. <laughs> <laughs> it's so you can see it mostly, but yeah. <laughs> Maybe it goes faster as well. It's like go faster stripes. Well, uh, issue with the voice there. I probably, I don't think anybody heard me there. 
I heard you earlier. Saying, uh... oh, sorry. Oh, okay. So go say what you want to say, anyways. Mm-hmm. Are people tiring? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just supposed. Hear anybody in return? All right. Okay. I think the thing is, there's so many people in this chat. Sometimes voices can be obscure. I think yours is one of the quieter ones. I am not a carrier, so. Mm -hmm. Right. Um. Question then is, for instance. Ooh, no, you can't. We we'll announce that shortly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, I, I am in position. Okay, cool. Excellent. Uh, okay. Right. Um, I, I cannot see you. Me too. Um, we have to be in the same wing, I think, to do uh, this. I'll, uh, I'll try and get you guys in the same wing as well. Uh, I think there are at least two, two instances. We don't know yet. We're not sure. An We're trying to work that out. Glider and about a... Everyone's really spread out. Okay. Mm. I'm, I'm going to get Kit and JB on the same team, hopefully, and then we'll try and work it out from there. I... One, yeah. two, three. Looks like most people are um, gathering out in front of the carrier. Well, I'm, I'm going to come to where I think you ought to be, mm -hmm. so I know where that is. Okay. I can see yeah. Looks like I am... I can... Looks like I am in instance with Kit. Okay. Um... Anyone not in an instance with me, it might be better to go to Super Cruise and we'll bring you in in the usual way. Mm -hmm. if, um, if you could all yeah. gather fairly close to the carrier, then we can we can see how many people. Yeah, we've got. but I've got to go into Super Cruise in order to get the 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 uh, invite. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I can't get, get that close. I've got to be 10k out. Oh, but I can double back in what you're suggesting. I do apologize. Yep. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm definitely in a different instance. Let me see. Let, where's who can I see at the moment? I've got yeah, JBL. Not so obvious. So Get it right. So JBL, I've sent you a team invitation. Yeah, yeah, I sent well, you. The same fate as all the I'm going to enter Super Cruise actually, see if I can get that again because it's just at the moment it's kind of futile. I'm going to see if that makes a difference. Long range thingy, too. I like it. Oh, actually, I've got the friend, the team invite. I just found it. Ha <laughs> ha. Hopefully, now does this that, does this reveal? Looks like uh, the lower section is actually a bridge. <laughs> Here. Right. See if I can find you, Kit. In the um, I I suspect this is actually a different instance, and that's just going to be a a signal that I find. Yeah, I'm correct about that. Um, oh, you're not in Super Cruise at the moment. No, I'll, I'll go into Super Cruise and come back again. I've got the teams, I've got the signal, but not you. Yeah, anyone who's still where you are near Kit, stay where you are. That's absolutely fine. That's not a problem. <clears throat> yeah, if you're with me, can you invite Austin, other people right? in? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Joe Bangles here. Can someone invite me, please? Let's have a look. Invitation yeah, sent. Yeah, got it. Or oh, received it. Commander Fatcast is looking for an invite, please. Okay. Who's that? Commander Stratcast. Send the invite. Thank you. <clears throat> Gibbons looking for an invite, please. Okay, my uh, my wing is full. If somebody else could help out, mm -hmm. I'm here. I should drop on you shortly. Is joining, yeah? 
like from then in. Yeah. Pretty dark here. I'd recommend maybe people turn on their external lights lest we have a accidental collision. Actually, I recommend you not do that. That's going to screw up the instance uh, even more. <laughs> not oh yeah, no lights, but you can use your night vision. Yeah, yeah. night vision is more efficient. Yeah. Lights, yeah, light, 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 lights broadcast data that everyone else has, has to then receive and share yeah. with each other, whereas night vision is entirely on user. Exactly. Yeah. So. Lights cause all kinds of problems. <laughs> okay, I have kit now, I think. Although I'm getting a lovely trail from someone's uh, FSD drive. It's rather pretty. Okay, I, now, yeah. I have kit. I think I see you. I'll just double check it's you. It isn't just a phantom signal or something. Yeah, I'm sure that's you now. I've, you're just a straight ahead of me. I'll double there must check. There be 15 it. or 20 ships around. Okay, cool. Uh... Kippen's still waiting. Are we doing anything else after the mass jump? We can. We're, we're going to. I am not doing something. We like are that. going to do, yeah, sort of uh, after party thing, which is just like messing about and uh, a few amusing things uh, on AB1, but that's after the mass jump. Though. That's sort of like post expedition kind of fun, if you see what I mean. Okay. Uh, in my instance, I have Joe Chank. Uh, kit. Yeah, I do have kit in my instance, thankfully. So we've got that. Uh, JBL has to Popping be in the out of team so well. we can create more space. Yeah. yeah. Okay, thanks, Joe. Thanks, yeah. Uh, I've only got B8F07C4 right now. Okay. Um, see if we can get JBL into the same one. Having said that, I do beginning to wonder that we might not be able to make one instance if we stay near the carrier. We might have to abandon the carrier part. I don't know. What do you guys think? That's not good. No, but the carrier is a disruptor. Oh, I see JBL in my instance. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Well, carrier in the system is the disruptor. Carrier in the vicinity is the disruptor. I mean, the mash jump will go ahead. I mean, we have two scenarios. Yeah. We either do the, the, the assemble the instance, please. Yeah. I mean, we we were trying to put together one instance for everybody, but if we can't do that, then we might have to uh, move elsewhere for the mass jump. But we'll we'll keep going for a little we can bit longer. Split the two teams have yeah. two teams, two groups, and then hopefully we, we seem to be in the same instance anyway. So yeah, no. mm. well, JBL's JBL not. I yeah. See. I mean, uh, me too. Uh, JPL, JPL, JPL did, it, did it help when you logged out yesterday and came I'm back? Gonna I'm going to try that. Okay, let me please, or someone from my instance. Okay, my other full Matrix? wing at the moment, yeah. JPL and me was in the second one. Okay. Uh, if anyone else hasn't got the full wing, uh, could they invite uh, anybody else who wants to get in? Nineteen. Yeah, Nick, are you staying in the wing with me, or are you going to leave? Um, I'll leave for now. I can always re-establish it later on, so I'll I'll drop out. The main thing is to get us all in the same place. We can always wing up again later if we need to do that. Um, but yeah, now instant stability is the first thing, first order of business, and then uh, any sort of okay. positioning that we Not can too do. obvious team. Okay. Um, I'm going to stop our cross right now. Back in 30 seconds. <laughs> hey, on three. Not so obvious, you've logged out. It's not so obvious. are you in the correct instance here? Um, I'm in Super Cruise right now. I'm just uh, coming oh. back into Passage to Andromeda again. I logged out and logged back in. I've sent a team invitation. Yeah, right. Invite me to please. Mm. Come on, you'll be on. And another one. Yeah, I got the fun one. <sighs> Matrix still shows you. Oh. 
it doesn't show me unreachable anymore. I'm the knob audience of our clubs. Okay, I'm back. Anyone? Okay, I'm now in. Mine's full. Uh, I'm in instance with Commander Fru right now. And Fru. only Commander Fru. Oh, no, well, I can see some other distant signals, so. Okay. Let's move towards those now. The problem is that my scanner is sufficiently short range, so I can't God, use up. Oh, Fru's is up. Hey, wait for me. I can. Kind of back with the I've got Cook's grenade. I don't see uh, Fru. All in one, me, please. AG. Yeah. Um, yes. Who else have we got? Go there? screenshot him without me. I don't like it. And no, we're trying to get everyone together. It it's, it's, it's being. It's been, <laughs> yeah. The game is being naughty. It's not doing what it's told. <laughs> uh, okay, I have room now. Matrix is still looking. Uh -huh. Still says you're unreachable, Matrix. Yep. Hey, G, I sent you an invitation. Did you not see it? 50, 40. Oh, 50. I see you in super. Then I'm, I'm over Yep. Is Fru in our instance yet? Like an hour still. I can't see Fru in the instance, no. Fru seems to be leaving. Ooh. Don't see him in my instance. Mm. No, I got cooked grenades. Hey, I'm saying I'm Fru wrote in the, in the text chat that he's leaving. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. okay. I think we need to do someone. this without carrier. Rex, I think yeah, I think. Already, yeah? yeah, I think that's probably the best thing. Um, I'll, I'll jump the carrier. We can just observe. How from far where away we are. shall I go? I mean, I can just. Let me have a oh, quick look. Asking. Let me go to external camera to see what's uh, okay. wrong. Um, okay, we're. I'll just. Um, we're not that. Get close. out of the way of. <laughs> Okay. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to establish a complete instance Let's for everyone. Go. Sorry, go. Go, JBL. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go you know, a, some number of light seconds from the carry and drop out. If pe people should be able to see my low weight, try dropping on that. Okay. Well, there's 20, sh there's 20 ships here, so. Yeah. Yeah, but we're going to. We're moving away from the carrier so yeah i'm thinking you, sir, I got you. i'm thinking the best thing would be if we do actually just remove the carrier from the equation completely because that would just give us a better chance to do everything yes okay oh we don't have whoa. to move the carrier we can just fly away from it can't we we can yeah. absolutely yeah uh, just... yeah um jbl if, if you want to find an appropriate fly spot away normally or super cruise someone's just run right in yeah, front of I'll, me I'll, uh, I'll... <laughs> Well, I don't think we should take this instance to Super Cruise now. Uh, uh, we it, it will fall again. apart, won't it? Um, yeah, instance-wise, it might be easier just to literally get the carry out, but that'll take 15 minutes or so. Um, you know, oh, it, I don't think it, it would be too hard, I think, across the, to put another instance together. You know what I suggest? You've got enough people in that instance. Why don't you... I, I can keep on trying to find you, but I, yeah. I suggest you just go ahead and do the launch... You, you uh, me there. You've got almost everyone there. Okay, I have a better, I have a better yeah. idea. What we can do is that we can move away from the carrier's influence, but we keep together, but no one moves faster than, let's say, 200 at the same time, so we all move as a group away from the carrier till we're, like, 20 kilometres clear of it. Well, I'm, not, I'm still not going to be able to find you because well, um, no, nobody can send me a wink. 200 is my boost speed. Okay. Who's asking for a wing invite right now? Matt. I will try. I mean, I'm I think it's a good idea. I keep, people keep saying I'm not, I'm not getting it. Yeah, that was a problem on the planet as well, wasn't it? Uh... Can all the people in the instance with me target me and oh. we will fly slowly away from the carrier? See if that changes anything. Yeah. I still can't know where I it may make a difference, it may not, but we might as well give it a go, yeah. Okay, I will target Kit and I will fly with him. Whoa, we need that mark. 
Actually, cool. yeah. So I'm going to fly slowly towards Andromeda. Okay, cool. Voice picking. Yeah, just fly slowly in the same direction. I can't find you, Kick, oh, yeah. but I found Joe Bangle. Yeah. Oh, I may be beyond range already. I'll come back. There's a, a dolphin heading in an interesting direction. I'm just going to follow that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, That's Kit. Is that Kit? Yeah. That's Kit, yeah. Yeah. Kit. yeah. I was flying towards the star, the primary, and towards the Andromeda. And I'm following the dolphin myself. So, so I'll yeah. just wait here until. Just wait here until everyone's caught up. Yeah, we're all I moving got, uh, now. Kit, aim yeah. some kit. Okay, I think we're all beginning to move. I can see you on the radar. Everyone's kind of getting information. Yeah, if we can increase the speed slowly together to maybe cruise at about. Yeah, exactly. Kit's the pacemaker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if we can keep the in people together, if we're cruising oh, about 100. A yeah. The theory is, I mean. Um, Maybe clearing the carrier will help. Is going to yeah. be... Main issue is going to be the jump target mm -hmm. not being obscured. Yeah, yeah, this is the by thing. By the star. Well, I think we were all right yesterday, weren't we? I hope it yeah. isn't. I mean, it's kind of rare that stars obscured at this distance, you know, or the jump target is obscured at this well, distance. We know that one of them is close to Andromeda itself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, let's have a look. Is the carrier still visible from here if you haven't done so already put all your pips into shields <laughs> that's good advice <laughs> yeah so i'm now nine kilometers from the carrier yeah um i've just come across that yeah Such a nice area he speaks. I like that color. Yeah. yeah. It's so really boosting through the uh, flotilla here. <laughs> uh, yeah, go, go ahead without me. I'm not going to be able to join you. Oh, what a shame. Yeah, I mean, we'll, what we'll do, once we come to a halt, we'll try and get you then, just so we see if anything has changed, but... Uh, don't give up just yet. Um, we'll probably be yeah. five minutes before we were able to come so to So I'm now home. 15 kilometers from the carrier. Do you think it's worth trying? Try it at well, I'm not getting any, um, Yeah. not getting any team invites, so I've got nothing to drop on. Okay, I'll try and invite you now oh, and yeah. see what happens. Yeah. Um, at Anaconda, uh, can be just one engine port for a big ship. Whoa. <laughs> it looks something like that. JB. Um... I'm going to come all the way out to desktop and pack everything. Okay, fair enough. Right, once we clear 20 kilometers. So Yannick and Joe. Are... Yeah. Yannick and Joe, are you uh, able to be the the jump leader? I guess we'll have to be. That's not a problem. Um, where I, I'm, I'm going to. We, more we should come to a halt when we hit 20. Uh, I haven't hit 20 yet, so once that happens. I'll come to a halt. I'm on eighteen point nine. Yeah, I'm about to hit twenty now, so I'm saying I'm going to slow down now to a halt, so don't crash into me if you can possibly avoid it. <laughs> I'm going to now work out where the jump systems are. Oh, go on! <laughs> right, yeah, I've come to a halt. Okay, I'm twenty. I should be twenty kilometers clear by now. Okay. I'm going to target them both to see where they are. Yeah. Generally, at, until we get a, a good target lock, I just. Uh... Center your central pip on Andromeda Galaxy itself. <laughs> That's a good look. Until we get better coordinates. Okay, Yannick, uh, I, I will hold station here. Okay. Um, if you want to target... Okay, I will try and find you amongst the... No, wait, hold on, Logan. Hold on, Logan. We're, we're not we're sure not yet. In yeah. Position yet. Not necessarily. We might be, but we're not sure. We're trying to evaluate because things have changed that we thought we could get better distancing of the we'll carrier. certainly sort yeah. out the lighting. That's the last part we're going to do sort out Would the lighting. It be easier if we... 
Would it be easier if we split into our two groups? Because part of the problem is we're a large group. Mm, that might solve you it. Need, I'm... We need to decide yeah. who's a dromid a deer and who is Yeah. Passage. I mean, obviously, everyone individually knows who they are. I so, you know. So. Um, okay. Yeah. I mean, if you want both, then you probably have to sort of pick one or we the other, I suppose. Okay. Um, let's have a look. Right. Yeah, we'll just try and get the mm -hmm. balanced numbers. Right. <clears throat> Okay, I mean, the best idea, I think, is if we can't get JBL in in a second, then we can split into two groups, one AA, one PAE, and just do it that way, but try and, like, synchronize so that at least we, like, jump at the same time, so it's kind of more fun that way, so that even if there's not actually anything else going on, it's at least, it's sort of like, you know, all for one, one for all kind of spirit, you know. But let's try and get JBL in first. Yeah. Yeah, we don't. We're staying in this instance. We just need to create yeah. two groups: yeah. one Andromeda and the other one yeah. Passage to Andromeda, yeah. and maybe just balance up the the numbers. Is it time to yeah. tell people what we're doing? Yeah. yeah, I mean, we can absolutely. If you've got the uh, the graphic uh, kit, um, I made a copy of it earlier oh, yeah. as well. But yeah, it's uh, put that in the the chat for this. Uh, this voice channel, the uh, launch info Andromeda yeah. one, and uh, yeah, this the that'll show the just sort of like the general idea of what we were hoping to achieve, what we still may achieve, <laughs> probably without the carrier kind of bit of it though. Uh, JBL invite, yep. Yeah, uh, see if he comes Aha. in. Yep, yeah, bingo. Oh, yes. We seem okay. to have him. So clearing the carrier has made a difference. Okay, now what cool. we can do, I'm going to get the carrier to jump one way or the other. Cause it's going to take 15 minutes. Yeah. Okay, yeah, cool. Right, yeah. Launch in fact, I'm just five, five kilometers from your team signal, which is Excellent. amazing luck. Yeah. You see, the original concept, if you whether look you at that going, picture... Whether you're going sorry. to... Okay. No, I was just, just saying to the chat that... Um, the picture... The idea was we were going to, like, cross... Cross the streams Wonderful. in a mass jump with a carrier. Oh, that's dangerous. <laughs> oh, we've we've we have actually done this. We've done this quite a few. We've done this enough times to prove that it actually can work. It's one of those you know, like the great stunt work in all films or TV. It's it looks dangerous, but it isn't actually that dangerous. That's exactly what we were going for. So we kind of worked away to it. The only problem is we were only like a handful of people doing it. We didn't have like the huge instance we have at the moment and we weren't sure if it would work with the instance, but we were going to try anyway. So uh, that was the original idea. We're going to maybe try a version of that now. We might get try and cross the two streams as it were with the two jumps. And uh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to... do exactly the same thing. We just... Have with no carrier. Who is our designated be... kit? Okay, yeah. Kit will be the target. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dismiss the carrier so JBL, now as well. JBL, are you going well, to leave so... the... Yeah. Good um, idea. Right, first thing I have to do is actually to find Kit amongst all of these. Fly yeah. from the... Yeah. You're looking, you're looking okay. for a dolphin, if that helps. Right. Right now um, I'm heading to Yannick. Okay. Yeah, I'm right next to Yannick, 200 metres. Right. And I am right there behind Kit. Oh, I've got you. Okay. So I can target you. So, Yannick, are you. Um, give me a moment. I literally the said. PAE jump leader. Yeah, I am, yeah, yeah. I am the PAE jump leader. Uh, PAE. Jumping the carrier. Yeah. Yep. I'm in the middle of doing the carrier right now. Um, okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, JBL is the AA and I'm the PAE one. Pasha Andromeda jump leader. Um, with this, okay, cool. Okay, so... Sorry, could you say again who's the Andromeda uh, do leader? Just yeah. barely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm okay. Into position now. Cool. Right. So We're... decide which um, flotilla you're going to be in and go and join either JBL for the Andromeda Adir jump or Yannick for the passage to Andromeda jump. Yeah, I'm moving sideways a bit so I've got a little bit of separation going on here. Well, you need to be two kilometers away from me. 
Yeah, exactly. I'll target you. I first. can't find a JBL. Uh, just Can barely. you find me? Because I'm right by JBL. Yeah. Right. Kit. Right. I'm on your left side, JBL. Yeah. I'm currently with Kit. Okay. Okay. I'm a, a bad out in position here. Well, you you need to move away from me because I'm I'm not going to be yeah. Uh, yeah. jumping I'm, from here. I understand. Right. Yeah. So I was talking to whoever was. All right. So they were close to me. That's Joe yeah. Bangles here. Okay. I'm on your left. I'm it's slowly like moving years. away from Kit right now. So anyone who was joining me for Passage to Andromeda, uh, slowly follow me, please. And if you're following, you're going to Andromeda, a Jew, JBL, just barely is your guy. Oh, yeah. oh my god, it's just barely. Mm -hmm. Just barely. That's it. That's the man. I've known this man for years, and I only just. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> It took me a while to realize that that barely o was barely o's. Barely o. I've been for six years and I only just this. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, it's given us a laugh, I suppose. I can't find you the JBL. Uh, Sorry, what was that uh, for Strapcast? I missed that. Are you recording? You, you, you're well away uh, from yeah. everyone else. Like we're called. Um, okay, you need to be. Um, if you if you come to me and then you use your vertical thrusters, then you'll you'll be wanting to look down at the point I'm at at the moment. Okay, Kit. Unfortunately, you've dropped out of my sensor range. I think through instance or something. Name a commander who's close to you that I can walk uh, on yeah. to. Um, or the nearest commander to you, so I have a vague idea where you are. Uh, is Logan within range? Logan. Yep, he is. I'm within range of Yannick, and I assume we're, we're, we are jumping to D1-0. Yeah. yeah, we are jumping to D1-0. Yeah. Um, the o OMO system, how do you pronounce that? <laughs> right. Well, I uh, pointed directly at it, so if you... Yeah. No, I, I'm, I'm trying to... Hello? Um, I can see two groups on my radar, and they're both at about the same distance. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to take the, that as red. We're in the right place. The second ring. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so I, obviously I'd rather be able to see Kit on my radar, but I can't. So I can see JBL at 1.6 kilometers from me, but yeah, my orientation is not ideal. Um, about right. Yeah. Mm -hmm, that should be okay. So. Um, yes, we've got the diagram posted in the chat. I also posted copy and pasteable targets for the two groups. Mm -hmm. So the Andromeda Adia group is going to blow you in the MWD10. Wait a minute, I can copy the two, text the two groups are going here. to different Damn destinations. Okay, yeah. Wait a minute. Right, I'm pointed in the right direction now, um, and I'm going to have to. So Anacondas keep running me over today. JBL, what is are it? You targeting. I'm, I'm... <laughs> oh God. Yannick, are you? I'm, to I'm targeting. I, I, I have my targets. I am dropping. I'm in position. They're both D one dash zero. That's the thing. No, it's like Omo N C eight. Wait, N C B or whatever it was. Yeah, N C B D one dash zero. The other. The one that JBL's in is BLO Yoon, because they both end in D1 0, you see, so the last bit is kind of irrelevant. Um, so it's the OMO one we're heading to it with Passage to Andromeda. Uh, okay, right. I'm. Uh, so please uh, copy the name of system in a voice because I can copy it from here on large in Okay. Oh no, I can now. Huh. There and back. Yeah. So would you say that. You're both in position. I'm in position yes. now, yes. So I can move 
Absolutely. I can move then. Yeah. You Anyone can really join one of the groups or yeah. into a photo photographic position or whatever. Yeah. 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 I'm in the correct so orientation. It would be a good idea now, if somebody so. would, Yeah. It would be a good idea if somebody was who was doing videography was well out of plane to try and get into yeah. the two flotillas as they long. Yeah. with the carrier, yeah. Yeah. Now the I would just say as we're sort of Probably forming up. up directly above. Yeah. So I was going to say sitting directly above Kit just gives me a, a, a shot of the planet which is just all bloom. It's it's not worth. Well, all will change. Uh, Von Trapp and um, launch info Andromeda, the channel above. What is that? Anac Why is it with me today in Anaconda? They seem to want to kill me. <sighs> this is like the seventh Anaconda that's tried to kill me today. Is my ship literally not visible. <laughs> Once was fine, but you know. <laughs> mm, I'm a little con concerned about. Oh no, 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 maybe. No, no, that's right. That's fine. Sorry. Ignore. My ship doesn't have the strongest shields around, so yeah, I'd get a little bit concerned when a huge anaconda smashes into it. Can and they seem to be quite close together. Yeah. Yes. Okay. The carrier is still okay. there. They should be okay. I mean, we, we could have mass carnage if we got the distances wrong. Yes. Yes. So we're looking good, are we, um, Ken? It's a stray anaconda there be between the two. Uh, <laughs> yes. The... One flotilla looks a little more organised than the other. Yeah, I think the one I'm in is coming together bit by bit. Yeah, Pe people around me just try and converge and tighten the formation. Yeah. Um, right. Cool. Are we waiting till the carrier has actually gone? That's the, that's what I'm doing. That's why I'm like aiming external camera at the carrier. Has there been any internal system alerts about the timing yet? Because I have Nick said, okay, I don't think you get them, as far as I'm aware. <laughs> I think we're too far. I think we're still about seven minutes away. Okay, fair enough. That makes sense. Okay, yeah. Well, I've got people's attention. Yeah, the um, sort of law, the idea behind Passage to Andromeda, apart from coming to here, Star One, the closest system to the Andromeda Galaxy, as was uh, named by, uh, what's his name, um, Commander Krell Travis, it's a, an early exploration buddy of mine, who uh, happened to get to Star One before I did, but to be fair, he had his heart set on it much more than I did. He's the EDSM first discoverer of this system, and I think the in-game first discoverer as well. Um, obviously, this, the carrier passage to Andromeda, the idea is it is off to Andromeda. Yes, as uh, Blake 7, which the, is from, uh, those who have not seen Blake 7, the BBC TV series, it's a brilliant sci-fi. It's a bit low budget, but it's absolutely amazing. For what little money they have, they do an amazing job, brilliantly written, brilliantly acted. But part of that was there was like a Star One was the computer center for the whole of the Federation. When they say Federation, don't think of Star Trek, think more of the Empire in Star Wars is a bit closer to that. Just without a Sith. But anyway, there was like an alien invasion of Star One and it got kind of interesting. Worth checking out if you ever get the chance. I was going to edit some bits together from that, but I kind of run out of time. It's, about, uh, versions, it's, aliens. <laughs> it's always aliens. It's always aliens. I always suspected that the, uh, the Liberator was just the most amazing kit bash I've ever seen of four old style microphones. <laughs> I wonder if that was the inspiration. It does make you wonder. But yeah, but as they said in Blake 7, the intergalactic drive may have been invented. And this is uh, the idea behind this. Passage to Andromeda is going off that way, and we will see it off. <laughs> yeah. Not to say that the Liberator looked anything less than badass, but I'm telling you five minutes that the original, <laughs> whatever it was built up from, looked like four microphones. Kind of, yeah. There a computer called Orac. Yep, there that's the one. Two of them. There were Zen and Orac. Yep, and Slave later on as well when they actually had Scorpio. 
It's funny, I have an anaconda called Scorpio in that very same color because it looks the nearest to yeah. Scorpio. The, the, but yeah, it's, it, it, was, it was fun. Scorpio's a lot smaller than uh, Liberator, less sophisticated, but it was still very good, though. Still better than most spacecraft in that universe. But, and yeah. I have to give him credit for one of the most uncompromising series endings I've ever seen. Oh hell yeah! Genre ever. It's so dark, but he does leave a little glimmer of hope at the end. <laughs> 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 like, did they survive? Did he survive? I, I, I was gonna say I, I, because you originally turned me on to this, and then when I went to watch it. Oh, am I coming through? When I You're went broken up it, a little bit. When I went to, but yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. When I went, when I went to go watch it, I was surprised that <laughs> the the kind of main villain for the third half of it or whatever is like so, appears very cliche, but he's actually a very character. A lot of his own personal struggles and motivation, conflicts and things. And that was very weird to mm. see from stuff. Yeah. I'm so used to just like flat 2D villains. And it's like, <laughs> actually, this guy is a bad guy, but like, he also hates the people he's working for. Yeah. <laughs> it's a really three or four dimensional character. I know what you mean, exactly. But that's what's wonderful about Blake Seven is like, those of you who have not watched it, it's very much worth it. It's a good Peter like historical sci fi. It's like the British Star Trek, but the Mirror Universe as well. That's another good way of putting it. It's like a darker version of the same kind of idea. Yeah. Right. It's kind of like... Uh... 55 to the... I got what... Okay. The carry's about to go, I think, isn't it? Yeah. Because this is going to look interesting. Looking at these two flotillas from some distance... I think they're heading in different directions. Oh, yeah, sadly. it's going to be interesting. No, 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 no. I mean, they will not converge. Yeah, yeah. is what oh, I'm saying. Oh, oh. It'll look nice on the camera. I, I do have to comment. You, you have to get past. Not time to change. You, you have to get past the laughter that the guy's name is just Travis. Like, yeah. Once you get past that, you're like, wow, this character is actually. Really <laughs> yeah. No, Travis is. You it, get all your all your all your classic Star Wars villains, you know, the Klingon, Star Vader, and Travis. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's not the most charismatic <laughs> name, but yeah. Right. How long the carrier, John? It's got to be pretty soon, isn't it? I'm Plugging getting messages. In, uh, I, it's on lockdown, so it's still talking to me. Yeah. Okay. Uh, a, uh, what was the last count you had? Must be less than a minute by now, I would have thought. Yeah. Well, in the Firefly movie Serenity, the main bad guy just, doesn't even just really a reminder have a proper when we do name. The mass uh, he's just called it's the Particularly operative. important on this occasion with dangers of collisions. Do not boo. Yeah, that's good advice for both flotillas. Don't boost. No boost. Just hit your maximum velocity without boosting. You know. Yeah. We just don't want any unnecessary collisions. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. So should we? Hundred percent throttle right now. Not yet. No, we want to. The carrier disappears first before we start spooling up. Not yet. Yeah. No. Because that might cause disruptions potentially as well. We just want to get rid of all possible disruptions before we mass jump. Because we've these are like two mass jumps in one essentially. So, right. so yeah, but it'll look cool in the background. The carrier I jumping. Just have I'm sort of. I have an external camera angle. That I can see both flotillas and the carrier. So this is going to be fun. I hope. Oh, there's a carrier behind us. Exactly. Yeah. Something going on. There it goes. Ah, uh -huh, right. Here we are. I'm hearing there lightning. It there it goes. Yeah. And there it goes. I've zoomed in as far as I can. <laughs> expecting to hear that sound quite a lot over the next three days. Yes. Yes, indeed. <laughs> yes. 
Bon voyage, passage to Andromeda. Yes. Okay. Right, I'm going to get back into I'm main, into the ship, if my actual controls will obey me. Uh, this is really quite weird. It's not actually doing anything. Okay, bear with me for a bit. Um, I'm having some technical oh. difficulties that I didn't foresee. If you, anyone who streams here knows what I mean. You know, there's like so many things that can go wrong and do. Yeah. It seems like being in external camera during a near an adjacent carrier launch can get your camera controls stuck. Yeah, I'm stuck in external camera mode and I can't get out of it. I'm trying to find even if I can oh, no. Yeah, I'm not just stuck. <laughs> oh dear. Maybe it'll calm down. It's just bizarre, you know. And the yeah, carrier's I gone now. To his school and jump the valves. Uh, I mean, you can. There's a mode that oh, you can actually. As long as everyone has selected their system, you can do that, yeah. I can't control my ship, though. I literally can't control my ship at the moment. There's a mode in external cam that you can do that, but I can't access that mode as far as I can tell. So, I'm, until I, unless I can access it, I think a few other people have got yeah. this problem at the moment yeah. as well. Oh, wait a second. Maybe I do have it, actually. Actually, I think I might have control back. Let me just test this. Um, I suddenly yeah, lost I do. my key binding to do. Okay, I will try this. Yeah, I don't know, that's what I'm saying. Um, I'll, now I know I can do that, I'm going to spool up. Everyone okay, should spool up as well. Everyone should spool up. Okay, right. I'll leave it in this mode, actually. Hopefully it'll work. Um, right. Okay, I found a weird workaway. I don't know where your internal cameras are located, but I have an internal camera in the back of my... in the back of my bridge, or whatever you want to call it, and I'm using yeah. that to try to fly my ship. <laughs> okay. Right, um, yeah, I was... In an Asp Explorer, that actually would work. Okay, fine. Right, this is the rest of the meet. This is what will be happening right now. Once we will jump in the next sort of minute or so. After we have mass jumped, I do have a, br a brief stream bit that I want to do, but you should uh, all be like heading. If you, anyone wants to take part in the sort of post uh, expedition, you know, uh, after party fun, then uh, please do so. We'll uh, put the details in announcements if we haven't done so already. But yeah, you're welcome to sort of join us there. But to say after the after the mass jump, I do have a bit on stream that I wish to show. But we'll get to the mass jump first, and then we'll worry about that later. I see someone's an, an anaconda's bashing into somebody in uh in my little group at the moment. So hopefully this will all work out. Um, yeah, I can't access external timing at the moment, so I'm just having to sort of uh, guess this one. But is everyone in my flotilla spooled up? Okay. Seconds. JBL, are you okay to go? I'm okay to go. I'm assuming everybody else is to go. Okay. So There's a Conda spinning around. Yeah. Uh, we are coming up on not, Um. Okay. Okay. We'll leave the time for a second. Wait till that Conda's maneuvered itself into a suitable position. Um. Because otherwise, it's just gonna be spinning around and colliding with people. Up. To Twenty-one horse. Uh, Sorry, is that Conda stop spinning? Because I can't quite see from this angle. Yeah, but not targeting, not pointing to the target. This trust is too weak to slow. Is it literally just spinning around out of control or something? Because I can't see from this angle anymore. It's gone out of my sight. Because I'm beginning to. He's blocking my way. I'm beginning to worry about this, you know. <laughs> Uh, this is gonna go great. What the heck? Whoever is behind him, just scoot laterally out of the way. So, AFK is absent from Conda. <laughs> um, <laughs> is it in the way? Bring another one. Is it in the way of our jump, though? If... Not if we move out of 
Uh, okay, I'm going to try and move to one oh, side then. Oh, he's actually got right in alignment. <laughs> so everyone points in the right direction now. Oh, thank God. More or less. So the conda stopped spinning, that's good. Okay, yeah. cool. Uh, okay, um... Let's try not spinning, that's a good trick. Okay, um... But I'm right. spinning now. Okay. Looks like uh, I have rotation problems, maybe. Oh, well. Right. Well, if you can avoid it, please do. Uh, otherwise, just move slightly to the side. I might move a little bit to the left, I think, possibly. Ooh, hopefully not. I haven't cracked it to anyone else. It might not be the only collision. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Looks like it's straightened up now. You okay. Boom. Cool. Right, well... Uh, Right, if everyone is ready to go, which I assume they are. Okay, let's say 30 seconds from... I'll, I'll just do it at a timer on my phone. It's probably the easiest way. I'll just count out 30 seconds from a certain point, and then we'll all be ready. Okay, right. Okay. Right, 30 seconds from now, this mark... Everyone should be spooled up to their targets. Everyone spooled up with undercarriage. Okay. 15 seconds to go. And jump in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hit it. So pretty, going in completely different directions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, nice, 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 it nice. Uh, <sighs> Some old school improvisation. They're not relying on gadgets. <laughs> oh wow! All right. Thanks, everyone. Got a bail. Take it easy. Awesome. Have a great one. Yeah, I'm head. Yeah, for those of you who want to take part in the after party, head back to uh, the original, the sort of the AB1 system, uh, if you wish to uh, join up with us and yes. have some fun there. The finale system, I should say, with AB1 as the planet we're heading to. Uh, quick question: Hi. Is is Endeavor gonna go back to Star One soon? Not Star One, but. Uh... Uh, the system close to where Sky is. Just to time out my jump. So uh, that a, when is Endeavor going back to yes. Star One? Um, right. Well, after the after party. Okay. So uh, okay, I'll jump back tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, early tomorrow morning, to jump back to Sky then. So uh, no mm -hmm. more on the agenda. Okay, um, I'm jumping back to the finale system now myself. <clears throat> um, I'm heading to the location now, so I'll create an instance on the ground. Cool, thank you. Yeah, actually, I'll land with you before I start the um, the stream presentation as well. Sure thing. Going Logan. back uh, now, let's see. Or we will do it right here, right now. The Lucky Arrival. It's <laughs> a good name. Thank you. Well, I have to go. It's been fun. Uh, see you. See, see. I will see uh, people on the uh, expedition, and uh, for everyone else.
Thank awesome. you. And see you in space. Awesome. Take Fly care. safe, Commander. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Head well. I will be with you on the, this party, <laughs> and then I'm going to get back to the bubble. The war is going on. Fair enough. A lot of people so want to do that. Nothing else on the agenda? Sorry? There were nothing yeah. else on the agenda except for the after party now? Uh, no, I'm going to do a sort of like quick sort of stream presentation once I've landed in about five minutes. So apart from that, the, the, the after party is the only thing we're doing today. So yeah. <laughs> yes, uh, we gonna have this party on uh, Horizons Four or Odyssey? Uh, I think Horizons Four in terms of on the planet. I mean, if we're gonna do in the bar later, we're gonna switch to Odyssey for that. But because uh, okay. right. yeah. we're gonna do some photos later on the carrier. Cool. Carrier jump complete. Awesome. <laughs> nice. Sadly, I've got to go to bed because I've got to get up in the morning. <laughs> Fair uh, enough. <laughs> got to go to work, and I've just look, I've just looked out the window, and it's bloody snow everywhere. Yep, <laughs> that's just the way it is, I suppose, isn't it? Yes. So I'm going to dock on the Endeavour. Thanks for the expedition; it's been great. Awesome. And hopefully, we'll have a base to land on when we get back to the bubble. Yeah, we can cross our fingers about that. Yeah. <laughs> Fly safe, Commander. Have a good one. Cheers for everything. Awesome. Here we are approaching the uh, the crater, which is the uh, location that Kit uh, has found for us. Yeah. Um, I'll uh, catch up <coughs> later, probably on a, a future expedition somewhere or something. Awesome. Um, and Yannick, congrats on. Uh, Another successful expedition. I um, know oh it's your last, uh, but hopefully we'll uh, see you again. Also, yeah, I'm not leaving Elite by, I'm just leaving this expedition things. But yeah, absolutely. Uh, thank you for everything and thank you for uh, flying with me for all these years. It's been fun and it's been, I'll see you back in the bubble, I'm sure. Yeah, you certainly will. It's or been, in Colonia uh, if the bubble burns. Yeah, this is I'm true. That, that complicates things a Don't little. Even Colonia is safe. <laughs> These are all options. <laughs> These are yes, all options. And then we'll see what the frontier has yes. for us. Andromeda. <laughs> <laughs> the Andromeda evacuation. Humanity yeah. had to escape the Targoids. Yeah, yeah. somehow they had to guys, escape. Yeah, yeah. So Ship in Terrors will be a thing. The thing is, I thought the yeah, passage... would be an epic follow-up. <laughs> The thing is, Passage of Andromeda, I thought of before the Thargoid War started, it even, like, it's just really good timing now. It's like, yeah, you leave for Andromeda, just the Thargoids are starting to burn the bubble. It's like, yeah, really top timing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, now, see, secretly, we all knew. Yeah, we knew it someday that they, it. they would burn the bubble. <laughs> Actually, I kind of hope that they would try because it, it's more exciting this way, to be honest, isn't it? You know. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah, I'm with Instancing is by the again. Hmm. I drop it uh, behind you, but since I'm loaded somewhere else. Yeah. You're not. You're not dropping into this big giant crater here. Yeah, yeah, I just up on your white marker. Is there so any? I still can see you. Maybe I'm still too far. Is there any carriers that are going to uh, the waypoint two for Andromeda? Adieu. I think we'll be Intrepidus and um, Skier. Yeah, that's right. They are just gonna travel back the bubble without yeah. any waypoints. Type on the line. Yeah, that's so. If we want to team. Me. Invite to the party. <laughs> I might need one myself. Well, cool. as I uh, said before, and I think I figured out my. I have the. But, but what's a party knob. without some uh, guardian uh, football? Oh. Play yeah. some uh, uh, football. I, I I had the physical knob on my uh on my audio interface turned down because I was messing with. It. I didn't even think about that. 
So that's why my mic was basically dead silent. Yeah, you were pretty quiet. It's yeah. Been great fly with you guys. I'm gonna head off. So. Awesome. <laughs> it's been fun. Yeah. And you yeah, should. Really? If you can, if you can hear this, I literally have a physical that I turn. Okay. So. <laughs> yeah, Better late than never. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we get friends this month. Anyway. So I'll, 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 I'll catch you guys later. Bye. Have a good one. Fly safe. Cheers. Well. Bye. I can see one star yeah. eclipsing the other star. It's pretty fun. <laughs> I <have> lost. <laughs> Actually, I've, I've landed too far away from you guys, probably. It doesn't matter that much, but I suppose. I'll get a little you bit closer. 450 meters from yeah, you know, this auto land thing sometimes makes bizarre decisions. Yeah. I'm not sure how much I actually like auto land. It's okay, but, you know, sometimes it does get a bit weird. Not when you're doing exobiology. I... Yeah. Well, that's... Oh, there was oh, one case with all the land. Creep gave me one billion. Yeah. Not kidding. Oh, look, there's some nice uh, bios to scan. Crunch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I might do Guys, more of this scanning I thing. I need some help. <laughs> What's wrong? Uh, I'm not in instance, or I'm too far. I'm. G I'll drop out of the team at the moment so I can wing other people in. So yeah. Right. Bear with me a second. Wait a minute. Probably I see you. Probably. I will try and. JBL, are you staying on Endeavor now? I'm about twenty kilometers out. I pretty much dropped. I just need wing and why That's usually easier. Okay. Right, uh, one sec. Speaking of auto landing, yeah. it's not exactly auto landing, but have anyone experienced when they're on an SRV and they call the ship back, the ship lands like 100 meters in the air? It does happen sometimes, yeah. I've never yeah. seen that personally, but I've heard about it. Huh. Yeah, because it's happened once to me, and I was very shocked when I could actually, awesome. yeah. Me and Rex uh, was in the same instance. We have a little video of it. And I, with the SRV, managed to go all the way up. Like, I was just under it. And, whoop, back up in my ship. So, so, the, so it is more common than I think it is then, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think the most entertaining thing that has ever happened to me in regards to an SRV drop was a, well, literal SRV drop. See, what happened was we found this labyrintho style world and uh, the giant green mountain on one side and we thought well let's try this thing has several mesas to land on let's see if we can do it and turns out we mostly could but i was in my anaconda and well it was i was having a lot of trouble finding an actual spot to park i finally found one right near the edge i go okay this will work and then i Got into my SRV and somebody else was calling out to me. No, 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 no! Don't do that! Don't do that! Your SRV bay is right over the cliff. <laughs> oh my! Oh, oh that's a blast! My SRV a mile down a cliff while my ship was <coughs> at the edge of that cliff, way above. Beautiful, beautiful. Did you survive? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> from, uh, uh, oh wow! Perspective. I don't know if anybody heard my story there. No, we uh, did not. I heard yeah. that they got the I drop did, to yeah. one like oh, yeah, right. yeah. No, it is funny. So who else is coming down to the ground? I've invited a bunch of people, but. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else would like to join us, please let us know in the text chat or invoice. Okay, I've got a few people in wing. Well, well, I guess I'll be heading off here as well then. Uh, it'd be late and uh, I have to check my schedule. Okay, fair enough. So you say. people have a great after party. Thank you. It's been great. Thank you. Have a good one. So uh, Gwen Lacuna, yep, yeah, yeah, can do that. Can Indeed. do that. Till next time, people. Till the next time. Yeah.
Right. We'll send a right bunch of invites. Near the S speaks. We gotta have some figure. Yeah. Maybe this letter H. As always, I'm sending a whole Maybe bunch of invites out, and they're just not really landing with anyone. Hmm. Okay, I got a bit of traction there. Oh, it's uh, letter P. Right, I send like JBL, Strapcast, um, who else? Von Trap. None of them is bound to land, I hope. <laughs> I've sent one to Von Trap, but no. Yeah, I mean, this is something that Frontier need to sort out quite badly because even for their war in the bubble, they're still going to need in, yeah, instancing between people. And I'm just like, yeah. Yeah, really? Yeah. And this, yeah, I this, haven't seen an invite come through. These bugs are as old as, you know, like it's early some, horizons. My enemy. <laughs> also, I hit a walk-around. We just can be in the wind and don't let anyone aside to join that instance. And it's mm -hmm. a London play. Yeah, I've sent a bunch of them to different people. Our strap cast is in wing now, so I've sent one to them. Uh, yep, cool, excellent. Oh yeah, someone's got a scorpion. That's cool. Oh, good. Right. My uh, wrong button. Discord really messed up on me. I had to shut it down completely and bring it back up. But did anyone hear what I was trying to say earlier about the SRV drop? Yeah, yeah, I heard that. Yes, we heard that story. I think part of the problem is with the different sound levels. Emotion. Sometimes I might hear somebody, but then I can't really reply because there's like a multiple conversation going on. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know how it works it sometimes. It seems like whenever, whenever uh, the voice connected drops down to red on my end, it seems like uh, everybody else can still hear me talking, but I've lost the ability to hear anybody else. That's strange. Logs yeah. never change. That's sometimes an advantage. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not a bug, but a feature. <laughs> yes. Hey, yeah. Uh, have you ever seen those uh, uh, photos of somebody who's uh, pho photographed a v yeah. or Volkswagen Beetle with uh -huh. those custom license plates, you know, van vanity plates, and the vanity plate reads feature. Well, I heard that, but I don't know the answer. Hey there in the chat. Um, is Fighting Falcon, are you still there? If so, make, uh, say something in chat, please. Why do we not have a race here? On the sand, it's... Um, well, we have an activity planned. Yep, yep, we do. I was waiting for people to sort of, uh, get into instance and uh, do their thing. Let me explain about the VW bug. With the, with the vanity plate feature, it's a, it's not a bug, it's a feature. <laughs> Got a laugh at that. It's <laughs> like, I'm stuck. Yeah. Okay, right. I'll, uh, while we're still doing that, I'll switch over to my, uh, the bits of stream. This is not compulsory viewing by any means, but it's just that if you want to uh, watch the video. I still had multi crew active. Try inviting me again. Okay. I'm still stuck. The... Uh, where are you? Uh -huh. In that same vein of uh, car related sil silliness, I uh, once uh, a friend of mine described to me a friend of his who had a. Uh, a 1966 Chevy Impala.
Right. Okay, back. Right, back in game. Uh, yeah, I'll take the SIV out for this one. What are we going to do today? We're going to probably do some cliff diving. <laughs> that is one of the things we can do today. Generally speaking, because there's... Started. There's no future bit of the expedition to be had. It's like you can wreck as many SRVs as I you like. Some higher screenshots. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> yeah, just run through them all. It. Fuck it. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Oh, this is nice one. She's taking ages to get me out of my ship. Okay. Oh, here we are. No, no, no. Oh, fuck this. Yeah, it always helps you turn the <clears throat> lights off as well. Okay, let's have a look. Where is everyone? Oh, I see you're all here. Kitten, the blue and the red. I'm red. Okay, so we're all here now. Someone yes, already uh, gone down to their demise. Yeah. Let's see where the edge actually is here. Yeah, there are four of us together over. Other side of the crater. A bit further around. Okay. Six. As soon as my ship lands, and I can get back up there. <laughs> Maybe we'll get there up everyone. Yeah, I'll hang around at the top here for a little I bit if anyone else wants to. Go over the edge as well. <laughs> I love that screenshot. Let's go to external oh, cam and have a look what's going nice on. Nice view. Everyone want to race? Yeah, we could do races. Yeah, we can do de demolition derby as well. <laughs> it is. She's drunk. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <clears throat> I was turning off auto landing. I didn't know it was on. So, Your ship is drunk. Drink. 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 Find the exact place to land. Right. I'm trying to do this in an anaconda. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to trek in like 10 kilometers in an SRV over terrain that's like a miniature version of the of like Labyrintho. It's, it's yeah. hell. Yeah, so I've done that one. <laughs> so we're all here lined up. Um, if, is anyone ready to, or to jump over the edge like maniacs? Ah, oh, someone's up. trying to do it for us. <laughs> We're crashing into it. Okay, is everyone yeah, ready? Uh, yeah. Not yet, I'm almost there. Okay, cool. There oh, it's gonna get external cam for a second. Well, somebody's got lights on. Oh. Hold up, hold up. Oh, Whoa, someone's uh, gone before. Come back, come back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wrong Do button. <laughs> See, Everyone's ready to go. Let's see who can survive. It is, That's isn't it? But, but it's nice if you can kind of like fall together. It's more dramatic oh, that way. <laughs> it looks better on the camera as well. You can see from the far crater wall how how big a jump it is. How it's insane. Longer yeah. journey it is. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so we're just doing the death jump at the start with, and we'll do anything else a bit later, or are we going to race? What do people fancy? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, right. Well, let's, let's just go for it anyway. Set your inventory synthesis panel to SLV repair. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Premium one if you've got it. There we go. Ready to go. Okay. Okay, We're let's ready. say in five, four, three, 
two, one, jump. This is gonna be funny. Uh, uh, Whoa. <laughs> Oh, it might actually land. It didn't even make it over the edge. It got collided. Yeah, I'm barely flying. Oh, I'm I'm just about keeping a parabola over the terrain. <laughs> I feel so. I believe I can fly. <laughs> 80, 90 meters per second. Yep, yep, yep. Good, 97 good. 97 meters. 100. I think I hit the ground there. <sighs> One thing I will say is that these... 4.0 train trains are definitely sort of flatter and are kind of easier to run over overall. Ooh, I got a nice bounce there. Oh, I haven't touched the ground yet. I just kissed uh -oh. it. Still, still gliding, still gliding. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, some damage. Oh no, none. Not okay, that was more of a tumble. Okay, that was damaged. Down to 34. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, uh, best to turn oh, the, just, the SRV lights the off. Because it just does drop the FPS for most people. Not good, not good, not good. Yeah. Whoa. Now I've crashed into the terrain. <laughs> And someone's crashed into me. Oh my god. It's... Ay, ay, ay. Oh, came to a stop. Yeah, if you want. Mm. It came oh, perfect crash now. And... Boom. Minus 70% in one touch. 73. That's a record. I'm rolling like a maniac. Uh... <laughs> oh, that one hit. I made it. It's hard. 59% <laughs> shield. When you can see, you see the boulder that you're going to hit. From yes. A <laughs> oh, I'm still rolling, so yeah. Remember, guys, every single rock here is solid <clears throat> and will hurt you. Did um, did we say about the death match when we get down? Uh, I don't think we mentioned that actually. No, I'm not really. I'm part of the way down, but I've been mm. rolling for a while. <laughs> If we do the death match, I'm fine with that, you know. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of the flying going on here. Yeah, a little terrain breaking up as well. I actually. did do a premium rearm before we set off. Ooh, you'll have an advantage then. <laughs> uh, no rock. Not even the right idea. I'm flying. I can I can see some people ahead. Ah, I survived. Like several K's ahead actually, because I've been rolling for too long. Now this is where the race of flying Comet is. Born, as ever, is a long way ahead. Comet Born's an excellent racer. <laughs> Whoa, terrain breakup. <laughs> oh, wow, and now I'm rolling again. I've fallen literally into the terrain, the graphics break up. <laughs> it's actually a good terrain for racing. I saw it. It's like quicksand here. Just drag not every inch of the terrain. <laughs> Suitable for racing. Whoa. Actually I've been I've been fairly praiseworthy. It's been fairly praiseworthy of Horizons 4.0 so far, except for this SRV stuff is like not going as well as I anticipated. It's got more problems than I realised. Once again, I find that the SRV is more stable going in reverse than going forward. <laughs> Some things never change. Oh, it makes logical sense. <laughs> yes, indeed. 
You can take the spark plugs out and use the hand crank to reverse it up a hill as well. <laughs> Imagine doing that in space. Yeah, yeah this electric car. <laughs> and always has been. <laughs> well. Oh, God. I'm still doing this. Still rolling too much. Yeah, I'm having a lot of terrain break up. I don't know if anyone else is, but it's it's very funny. <laughs> and kind of annoying at times as well. <laughs> yes, you've got to climb the other side of the crater a few hours later. Yeah, that's true. Oh, dearie me, dearie me. Yeah, I seem to be in the moment either flying through the air, rolling down, or crashing into broken up terrain, which is uh, a weird experience. Uh, if this keeps on happening, I might have to actually re-log or something. I don't know. And I'm not doing this on foot. That would be crazy. <laughs> Actually, we're in Horizons, that, uh, aren't we? We can't. Take a while. We can't use. We're not in Odyssey, so we can't do the foot thing. Uh. Although, as I understand it, in um, since Horizons and Odyssey, well, Horizons 4.0, Odyssey 4.0 use the same. Pretty much the same. In terms of the terrain. Yeah. If you switch from this to Odyssey, then. Uh, you'd be in the same place. The same? You'd be in the same place and look the same, exactly. Yeah, yeah you'll, you'll, you'll be, you'll the be in the same. Yeah, the same. Yeah. Yeah. It's literally the one environment. Yeah. And, and you can't, you can't do that thing. You yeah. can't do that thing where, like, you get stuck on the ground and then you <sighs> teleport back to orbit. Yeah. But I, but I think they, they're, they're going to add, like, a button for that. You know? I have heard them say that, yeah. They did, did they not? I haven't um, looked, to be honest. Oh, I, I don't know. I haven't really checked the menus. Yeah. Um, I'm having quite a lot of problems with terrain even, break up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to switch to Odyssey and I'll meet you guys in the bar in a bit because I'm literally getting kind of nowhere fast on this one. Having like severe graphical break up. Oh, it's awesome. Thank you. Yeah. So I'll meet you in Odyssey in a little bit anyway. Uh, at, at in Endeavor, Endeavor's bar, okay. I was going to say. Yeah. So yeah, I'll quit for that. On people on the stream, uh, stay yeah. with me for a little bit longer, and I will be switching to Odyssey, and we'll have a bit of a, a meet up there and some in-game photography. See you shortly. Uh, to voice chat here, yeah, I'll be okay. back in. Also, oh, where are you guys all at? Because uh... all right, yeah. I'm just switching to Odyssey to go to Endeavor because I'm having problems in like the SRV mode in Horizon for some reason. Not 100% sure yeah. why, but I'm just uh... I, I literally couldn't get any further. I was literally like falling further and further behind and getting stuck in terrain. You know that part when the ground literally uh, dissolves into basically just being geometric shape, not falling through it, like quicksand. That's kept happening to me all night. I literally couldn't do anything. So it's, uh, but yeah, I'm gonna switch to Odyssey now and I'll be back in about five minutes to the street.
this after all the same now uh, maybe we're gonna switch a different what channel or no uh i mean i don't know it's not my call to make but i don't think it's worth it <laughs> i want to make you up again in the bar Oh, we can keep going here. That's not a problem. <clears throat> I'm going to the bar now. I'll stand down. Yeah, I'm gaining altitude now. Cool. Okay, Comet Vaughn, this has been awesome. <laughs> yeah that's one of the, actually one of the interesting things about odyssey is the sort of you know the jump bit when you're actually uh in the observation gallery and then the and the bar section and all the sort of more human elements to it i suppose yeah but those are cool right endeavor it is It's further Never. out than I thought. <laughs> Make me a game. Yeah, it's all good though. Six percent hull lift. <laughs> yeah. But oh baby, six percent? Hell yeah. Is that your have you ever hole? have you ever <laughs> Someone's SRV hull, I think, was 6%. <laughs> Have you ever had the uh, the mythical uh, landing on a station with 0% hull before? Uh, I did once with 1%, not 0, though. Yeah, I've done that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've done, it, I've done it with 0, and then when I touched down, my ship blew up. After, uh... oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> That's unfortunate. <laughs> After I got mullered by Thargoid. Ah, okay. Friend, I, a friend of mine I saw uh, in their Anaconda land with, uh, no, no, it was a, they were in a um, Corvette and they had uh, taken massive damage from uh, early Thargoid stuff. Mm -hmm. And they. Had 0% you know, hull? They weren't at 0, but they were like at 1 or 2%. Huh. And I had them, hey, you've got to get a screenshot of that. They did it and sent it over my way. And yep, I actually, it was that low. I actually managed to touch down with 0%, got through the letterbox, and literally, as soon as I docked, my ship blew up. That, it does happen sometimes. Sad. Yeah, It is. It's yeah. so unfortunate. You've made it all that way. So work on your Conda with 0%, and it's blown up. Yeah. Have you ever seen the Blues Brothers? Yes, yes. Great film. Yeah. Car makes it and gets them all the way to where they need to be, and as soon as they step out of the car, boom, it falls apart. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit like that. Except yeah. they didn't lose all their exploration data, though. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh no, no, just no. <laughs> Wouldn't that be so just funny if we no. lost our exploration data for this whole expedition? That would be so hilarious. <laughs> I'm kidding. That would be. So sad. It would be sad, yeah. yeah. It would be a model after that. Yep. Yeah, I've been selling piecemeal as we go. I'm not taking a chance. Yeah, me too. Yeah, it's it's always wise to sell. This is the first. I was gonna say this is the first expedition I've been on since Distant Worlds Two. Right. And the whole carrier thing is just luxury, isn't it? You know. When you're <laughs> yeah, that's true. Put your feet up. Yeah. Wonderful. Sell your exploration data. What's not to like? Yeah. Yeah, that's just it, true. It, it is nice too because you know, when you're on a like, was this was like a five month long expedition or something like that? You know, sometimes uh, you you have a life, <laughs> so you're just like, fuck, I can't play this week. So yeah. you just get in the carrier and just go to the next waypoint. Yeah. So exactly. You're not yeah. Super behind. You can't they say before carries. You just had to catch up. You know. Cool. Yeah, it's uh, but you say the carrier is just make it much more convenient. I can't imagine yeah. before carriers and before, yeah. I mean, you're funny, yeah. 
Especially sh before, way back in the day, before, uh... You finish your thought. No, go on, you, you were in the middle of a sentence, sorry. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, the, it, before the day, even, uh, back in the day before new Neutron jumping, too. So if you got put behind, you just had to sit there forever. Yeah. With no engineering, too. So you're just like, okay, here we go. <laughs> no, you're it's absolutely like right. Get anywhere. But this is true. I mean, the ship that I'm flying in right now is literally... It's literally my original ex like long distance explorer that I actually like went to the first quarter of the galaxy before neutron jumps, before engineering. This is literally the ship. I took all out all the engineered modules just to restore it to its original state, and so it is. It is my yeah. sort of original sort of exploration ship, and that's why I brought it out for here because I thought, well, I might as well get another outing if it's only just for one particular waypoint. It deserved that, so yeah. It's fun, but yeah, you're right. It's just like yeah. The, yeah. the further you go back, the harder the it becomes. History, yeah. yeah, exactly. But you're right. That's sort of the, the earlier you go back in the game, the more difficult yeah, any exploration is. Yeah. Uh, you look. You like look at the. You look at forms and Reddit now, and people are like, "You have a 65 light." your jump range that's so low and i'm like yeah okay well try getting to beagle point with 28 you know yeah well, exactly <laughs> that's, yeah, that's what you had to do it's like it's like you guys people are just spoiled and you know nothing <laughs> wrong with that but you know it's yeah. a, it's a it's much better in my opinion but you know yeah i think there's like a happy medium i think it's a different time. Different a lot of people of reasonably have argued, myself included, that Frontier might have gone too far down the road of making it easier to jump. You know, the jump ranges probably became too big. Neutrons became too easy to, like, cross distances. So, like, a little bit of neutron jumping would have been cool. Well, and maybe... Yeah. The whole exploration becomes too easy. Wait. Exactly, yeah. Wait. It still does take a very long time, though. That's the thing. It's still just because it didn't take you forty hours to get to Beagle Point doesn't. It still takes a while, even if you are sprinting with neutron jumps. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it's true. Uh, yeah. I, I see what you mean because there are certain things like you know, like 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 getting reaching Beagle Point used to be this huge deal, and they had like they had that spreadsheet, the thirty or sixty-five light year club. But nowadays, like it just doesn't exist anymore because. You can get there in an afternoon if you wanted to. <laughs> yeah, I'd forgotten about that. Yeah. yeah. 65,000 light years, yeah, exactly. No, you're right, because that was at one point, it was just like the ultimate goal was to get to Beagle Point. It was the furthest place you'd get to, and that was that was like the gold standard, you know. Yeah, it's fun, though. I think in any game, that's the thing. You've got to... There's yeah. that optimum like balance point between being easy enough to be accessible, but not so easy that it becomes e too easy to master, or like top end achievements are somehow like you know worn away by like too many improvements. You know, it's, it's a difficult balancing act to to, to get right sometimes. Yeah, that's true. It's it's hard. To in online games too because like if you do go too far in one direction you can't just say like oh well we're gonna take it back now it's like fuck but i liked i liked the convenience i liked yeah. being able to you know i liked the accessibility i liked all that stuff and it's like well you're just taking that away from so many people so yeah it is it is true it's hard to find the balance but you don't know when that balance is <laughs> you know yeah yeah regular spinning station without the advanced docking computer you need to start practicing regular landing yeah i i i i, th I think that the computer should That's not strange. be default it shouldn't be default because i like the docking computer for if you've done it a thousand times and you're like fuck i don't want to do this again like <laughs> and, you're, and you're doing mindless trade routes for six hours and you're just like come on but yeah. like if you're if you're if you're learning it's like it shouldn't be a crutch to learn for it should be right, a convenience exactly. for somebody who knows what they're doing and yeah. that's how i that's how i that, that's how i teach my friends who uh get this game new 
Uh, I'm like, sell the docking computer. You're gonna do this. You're gonna do this the old-fashioned way, <laughs> the way I had to do it. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I can't get on the command deck. I forget this isn't my carry. <laughs> oh, no, you're staying normally. And jumping insanely again. <laughs> yeah, Nick, I'll invite you to... Cool. ...to come up. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're going to photography. ...in the AA voice text chat, posting a picture now. Okay. Right, how do I accept that? Um, I think I... Yeah, there we go. I think I just accepted it. Yeah. We'll soon find out <laughs> if I did or not. This is the thing of the on foot thing. I do it so infrequently. Uh, I don't think I actually accepted it properly or something. Um, yeah, I do the on foot thing so infrequently. I've actually forgotten what control it's supposed to be. Uh huh. Still says sent. Yeah, I saw. I think come up on the screen. But I don't know how to accept it. That's the problem. It just disappeared before I could do anything about it. Um, yeah, this is funny. This is the one area of the game that I do not have that much uh, expertise so if you go in. go to your comms... Right. Can you uh, go to the comms panel? One second. Um, i trying to find which control that actually is. <laughs> Pressing all the buttons. Mm. Oh, there's the comms panel. Yeah, I've got it there. Cool. Uh, invitation received. Um, no, that's not it. I tell you what, I'll just post it in images. On okay, cool. What's happening down there? Uh, what? Yeah. I, I mean, I mean, comms at the moment. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I don't know what to do, to be honest. I don't know which one to accept. Images, just standard images, passage to Andromeda is where I posted it. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's a good thing G-Force is doing a thing in this game, because I feel like if this was real life, my, my, my commander would be passed out from G-Forces right now. Yeah, <laughs> probably true. I'm just going to have to check this out in options because I've forgotten which control is which. <laughs> I deliberately assigned all the controls to be easily memorable, but for some reason I can't remember them. <laughs> it does happen. It does happen. Oh, guys. While we are here, uh, can we just uh, go on photography again? Everyone in a line. Because this is like a report of the expedition. Sure, I've got to actually find people. Oh, I'm it's having. A, it's a... I'm still logging into the game. Yeah, I'm trying to find various controls for what I'm doing. Uh, the on foot movement I've got nailed down, but not much else. <laughs> okay. Is there any reason I shouldn't move Endeavour now back to Star One? Um, I can't see any reason Steve. not to, because even any ships I've got left on my carry, I'm going to just transfer them to yours anyway. So yeah, I don't see any reason not to move. There's, I don't think there's anyone left in the system that I'm aware of. I mean, of. it's not very expensive anyway, is it? No. Yeah. Not, not a, no. Okay. I don't, right. think there's, I don't think there's anyone left like on the planets or anything like that. No, right now, is there? hopefully not anyway. If there's anyone here that needs a... Uh, just to hang around for a bit longer, then uh, do say. Okay. Look, I made it to star one once using the jump synthesis, so uh, that means I don't need to do it ever again, right? Yeah. Well, <laughs> fingers crossed. That means you know how to do it, so that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. That that oh, that you, low key you're... that low key that was actually like some of the most like fun exploration like like going between the spreadsheet and like doing quick math and things like that. That was actually a lot of fun to do. Okay, could well, you try uh, inviting me again, actually, because I'm now in the comms panel and finally found sure. it. Sure. <laughs> oh, dear. Mildly embarrassing. Oh. Ooh, oh. Uh... Find telepresence okay, crew, join another ship. ship. 
<laughs> wow, okay. uh, Oh, I see it uh, now. Yeah. Just... Typing out the I found it, yes. Yeah. Send it in the game. Yeah. Yes. Like here. Okay, I think I've accepted that now. Yes. Cool, excellent. A new right. commander has joined your team. Yay. So now I will go up to the command deck. Yay. If the lift actually comes, it would be helpful. <laughs> Yannick, you shall not pass. <laughs> I hope that's not true. <laughs> come on, lift, come on. Ah, oh, now we are. There we are. I, I am I'm I'm a big fan of the boost that this genomics got. That's really helpful. Yeah. That's cool. It reminds me of the turbo list in Red Dwarf. For Shall some we reason. See... Yeah. I think we'll see how many people we can get um on the, the mm -hmm. good spot. Yeah, sure. So I'll just I'll you can sit get down over here. You can get you can get yeah, an yeah, unlimited yeah, amount yeah, of people, line. but right here in the line. Yeah. You can get, you can get, uh, I've, I've seen like 10 people on the deck, but like the only problem is that once you do the jump, if you're not in the team, you're teleported back down uh -huh. to, to the regular seats. Even though there's more than four seats there, you still get teleported back down to the regular seats. It's really weird. So does this work like regular sort of instancing with SRVs and ships? Like, as long as you get people into the same instance as you, you can then sort of leave the team and people will join that way. Yeah, once you once you get right. up to the to the top floor, you can disband the team and then make another team of four, yeah. and just you just keep doing that. Cool. And uh, but like I said, once once the carrier actually jumps, you're teleported unless you're in the team. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. the owner that, that owns the fleet that's carrier. The you are teleported. That's cool. So yeah. I've sent team requests to AG, Gwen, and Logan. If you want oh. to come up to the. Can you invite me too? Okay, I will try. If I can find the control. We'll invite thing. everybody. Um, but I think it's like um, it's like a wing or a team. You have to leave the team once you're in it, so that more people yes. can be invited. Exactly. Once you take the lift up, then you either leave the team or disband it and make another and get Random, another what? group of three. Random. Why are you again sitting in the air? Not you're not even touching the no, chair. <laughs> trying to invite everyone, so don't worry too much about that. Um, Any, anyone see a really random just floating in there instead of sitting in a chair? Try inviting me again. Okay. Oops. Okay, done. Oh, there we go. I have to actually look under your name. Okay, there we go. Got it. All right. <coughs> Set it on up. Right, now I think once you're in, if you could leave the team. Right. And okay, we'll try. And maybe in invite some other people okay or does it have on. to be the carrier owner who does the i do not know the, the 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 carrier owner i i know has to be in the team i i'm not 100 percent sure if they have to be the one who creates the team i don't think it matters that much as long as they're the ones who are in the team okay no but yeah okay so somebody who leaves the carrier owner's team can't build their own team mm -hmm. and have people come on no, uh, yeah, the the team in order to take the lift, you have like the car you have to be teams with the carrier owner. You know what? I just realized something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you take a look at where the the door to the to the lift is uh, situated, and then realize in which direction it is pointed when you come out on top, that lift must. Turn 180 degrees while you're in it. Going oh, up. yeah. Yeah. I think they all do that. I'm sure I've sensed that on the way up. Hmm. 
uh, from my so perspective, really random. I've sent you a request if you want to there's some funny graphic on. breakups on stream at the moment because like people have fallen into their chairs or been like f fused with their chairs. It's kind of funny. <laughs> it, it is funny when that happens. Also, thank you, Kit. Yeah, it's fun. So we've got Logan sitting at the table. We've got Kit sitting on the other so side of the table. So it's surely possible. <laughs> yeah. Hey Kit. Hey Kit. Are your shoulder and van braces colored that way for Christmas? <laughs> Talking to me? Yeah. No, uh, Chinese New Year. Ooh, it's nice oh, though. Okay. Typical Christmas colors, so. Oh no, that's Port and Starboard. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> Fair enough. It works well. Have you seen the. Uh, Wait, the I'm, I'm still not here, guys. I'm still not here. Okay. Uh, um, I've. Okay. Oh, I don't know if it. That there are too many in the the team already. Has anybody left? I I'd left your team, yeah. Oh no, there we go. So it should be fine. Yeah. Now oh, Logan, that's a nice picture, the Apollo one. So is that? That's a really cool one. Yeah, that's the bigger picture. Us, yes, I didn't do that. Yeah, I used a smaller version of that earlier, but yeah, it's 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 a nice shot, definitely. Oh no, oh, oh. Didn't, didn't want to do that. Sit down. Yannick, you appear to be sitting on the arm of that chair. Yeah, there's all kinds of weird things going on up here. People are like fused with their chairs or like <laughs> sitting at weird angles. You know, it's it's really quite, it doesn't look like a great party, put it that way. You know, it's not one you really want to be part of in real life. <laughs> Everything is broken. Could, um... <laughs> hey, Chief Iran is now sitting what? under and behind. <laughs> My God! What? Everything is so wrong. Could somebody leave now? the team? What about please? now? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, One second. Hey, AG, you're not going to be able to fix that. I'm ah, sorry. that's your okay, care, broken. Yeah. <laughs> um, and we only have like two more minutes before we're all teleported back to our seats anyway. Oh gosh, yes. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. We'll sure. take whatever pictures you can in the like meantime. Before. Because yeah. really, a chance, really a chance, right here, right here. This is A.G. Durant swearing. I'm not swearing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just, oh no, it... just better to make a photo like that than depicting or floating through the chairs and oh, anything. Oh, we're all standing in a line, are we? Right yeah, over yeah. there. Right okay. here. Oh, I managed to glitch my camera to be outside. Huh. Oh, I've been looking for the place. It's by the fern, isn't it? Do you do that? I'm lined up. Yeah, I'm lined up, guys. Oh, shoulder, shoulder. How do you... I can't remember the key to turn off the, the little identification tags. I'm just going to have to look at that. Shift and then something? Can I have a quick look? Did you um, sense that as an invite? I didn't see it. Oh, oh, I'm just jumping back in. Um, I was waiting for somebody t to so leave the the team. Uh, uh one second. The carrier jumping in a minute anyway. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, it'll be really tight anyway. I mean, oh, seriously, why? Are you yeah, jumping so weirdly. I mean, when we get transported uh, back, realize, yeah. we could always just like take a photo like down in the observation gallery anyway, just for where the outside window is. Guys, yeah. stop jumping! Yeah. Stop jumping in here! Oh my god, this is so funny. Yeah. Okay, I have some photo. Job enough. Nope, I can't jump. Nope, can't. magnetic boots. Can't jump. But you're jumping very, very fast. Some glitch. Oh. Kid, I'm poking your pilot. What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> oh, you're you're unscanned. I see. Uh. Uh, 
Oh, they need they need to be poked. That one, they're forever looking at their game console. <laughs> yeah, they're just playing on the tablet. They're, the left one's always playing on the tablet. You know, it's like, aren't you supposed to be flying the ship or something? No, they don't. They're just there for show. <laughs> Scrolling through their social media. Yeah, nothing changes. It's like a millennia in the future. <laughs> nothing is different. The future is the same as now. <laughs> Please head to the seat. Nah, no, I'm, I'm just not going to. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm not going to the seat. I'm saying I might. I, I'm I want to get a good seat. The oh, robots will come and take we, you to your seat. We do have yeah, a non harassment yeah. policy for the staff, by the way. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm invisible, guys. <laughs> you can't point at them for too long. Yeah, they're behind you. We'll be down there in a second. You know. <laughs> okay. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean this carry has done some sterling work it's gone from one side of the galaxy to the other and now it's just run by some people who are just addicted to social media <sighs> yeah <laughs> Okay, can I, I jump down to the... I'm addicted to social... Yeah, no, I don't think you can. Okay. Are all right. the seats taken? No, I'll have a look. Spare I'll, seat have... There. I'll have a look. Let's go downstairs. Uh, actually. There's one just to the right of the the lift. Okay, I will now go to the lift. If you're, you're not, not... If you're not... Yeah, I've been escorted now, apparently. Gone. Yeah, by a, a robot or a security guard or... Yeah, both. if you're... If you're not in the team, then you can't sit on those chairs. They just don't let you. Okay. It is really dumb. I wish they they did allow more people because there's clearly extra chairs. And heck, I think they should allow the the carrier owner to sit in the ready room when it jumps, because you mm. know it looks yeah. like there's a console there they can use. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. You're sort of restrained in your place. <laughs> you can't leave your seat before it jumps. Safety first. Yeah. Your husband strapped it to the chair forever. To the back. Of course. <laughs> yes. Yeah, cool. I mean, it's some weird stuff. Like I, back in the, there was used to be a way when like carrier interiors were first came out that like if you just didn't get into a chair you weren't forced into a chair <laughs> and it <laughs> there was this weird glitch where like you would be in a seated position wherever you're standing yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then during the jump and then you just kind of teleport to a chair when the jump is completed it's really weird <laughs> one minute to go yeah so we've got commander Gwen Lacuna, yeah. logan up here Real Roaster, uh, Ralsgeth. Obviously, Kit sitting up there at the top uh, is in his command position. And I'm sort of sitting back here. Just, I'm in the back row of the cinema. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, cool. I mean, it's better than the front row. <laughs> mm, yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> just like having your... I I mean, uh, if we're talking about real theaters, I've I've only been on the front row once, and like I felt like I was about to. It was like a two hour. It was a two and a half hour long movie. It was like a Marvel movie or something. So like, my neck was just oh. sore afterwards. I was like, <laughs> I was like, no, thank you. I'm never doing that again. The seats behind the commander of the carrier. I, I think I would call that the peanut gallery. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're about to jump, eh? I'm not panicking. I'm not panicking. <laughs> yeah. Not serious. Let's go. Here we go. 
to infinity and beyond. Yay. No matter how many times I see this, this carrier ship never gets old. <laughs> yeah. Now this has got a light buzz here, or buzz light here. <laughs> yeah, buzz light. At least on this version wonder... of the carrier, there's always that one, I guess, antenna aerial that's directly in front of the bridge, and I can't help but think yeah. that, that is like a lightning rod. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Just like <laughs> <laughs> that's a good bit of uh, modern that poetry just there. Destroying <laughs> your your comms. I thought I'd spam the um, Saint Crispin's Day speech yeah. again because it seems very appropriate today. Yeah, no, it's a good one. Just change the words here and there. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow, it's nice, isn't it? It is very cool. Oh, yeah. Wow, we're, we're we're and we're facing away from the Milky Way, so it's just pure black. Yeah. Wow. Uh -huh. Oh, let's see. What's the tritium situation? I think. We got mine. I have a ship. No, 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 no. It's, it's just whether. Um, I don't have to go back to my ship to move any. Yeah. I think that's one of the I worst. Don't have to. I've got three hundred and twenty-four still. Anyone who owns a carrier knows what we're talking about. It's one of those annoying things about owning a carrier. You thought there'd be a way to transfer stuff from your hold tritium straight to you know the engines, but there isn't. You have to literally go to your ship. You have to transfer it to your ship, and then you have to donate it to your own carrier. And how stupid is that? You know. <laughs> That's really funny. You gotta donate it to yourself. You do. That's literally the way you refuel a carrier. You donate it to yourself. <laughs> this is That's so funny. And you can't just fill your ship with with tritium. You actually have to hold the transfer button down and move it one one ton at a time. Mm, sad. Oh, right. I yeah, love. That's so nice. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good view out here. Right. Cool down another two minutes. Now then, am I going to Star One or to the system that Skia is in? We might as well make Star One the rendezvous point because it's just easier to remember, isn't it? For everyone. Um, I don't know. I mean, if JBL is okay moving it, I'll just... Yes, rather yeah. than the the skier system yeah just everyone knows where star one is by now so it's probably easier that way just to transfer yeah. stuff so yeah anyone who's going on aa will have to transfer their stuff over to that carrier and with me i'm well my alt's going on aa and my main is uh going with kit back to the bubble Yeah, so it's an interesting time to be an elite, definitely. We've got uh, what we've just done. We've got yeah. Andromeda Dew yeah, coming like, up. And we've got the war going on as well. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I know, we had so much stuff going and then plus the the with the with the universe split, I was like, Of course the universe splits when I'm on a freaking human well, expedition. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so I actually I actually I had to I had to travel twenty thousand light years twice. <laughs> yeah, it's I'll annoying. Open my accounts yeah. to get to the carrier. <laughs> it's just it's bizarre. Because... I did it, I had to do it in like two days as well. Yeah. Are the organizers? Yeah, we were like seriously yeah, worried at one yeah, point. We have, you know. <laughs> we have two carriers now. Yeah. It's not possible, but we have two carriers now. Two for the price of what? one. One in Odyssey. One no. in Horizon. Two point eight. Yeah. But this is the thing. It's like, yeah. no, seriously, when it dropped, hey, because... I, I, I still can't believe I did that. Frontier gave us literally, like, was it five or six days notice? Because we knew eventually they'd probably do something like this, but we thought yeah. we'd have, like, two or three months notice, uh -huh. and it's like, all of a sudden, in this, like, the staff meetings, we were sort of saying, it's like, what the hell is going on? What are we going to do, basically? Because, I mean, thankfully, most people obviously had access to like, other Odyssey or, you know, going forward, like, four... Point zero, and if they hadn't had access to four point zero, we probably would have been had a force to choose one or the other, and it would have been such an annoying thing to do. 
because I mean beforehand we could at least do like you yeah. know 3.8 horizons or odyssey and it was kind of like whichever what you want to go to some people would switch between the two but yeah it was kind of bizarre obviously it worked out okay in the end but obviously and even worse are the tool you know software people developers were tearing their hair out it's like why did you not tell us yeah. before you know it's like, i feel sorry for them even more for like you know us in the sort of event organizing people it's just like but because some of them are just like completely now abandoned the legacy stuff because they can't do both it's just not enough time in the day yeah just being yeah it, I mean, it, it's it, mm. ultimately i think it is a good decision but yeah it was just unfortunate timing that yeah, like I said, there the I I'm like at like you know me having to do twenty thousand light years twice. You know that's like the least annoying that it can be as compared to you know the devs, like the th third party devs. Like you said, they were just like, uh -huh, are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, we gotta figure out a solution Long right now. <laughs> Your environment is I mean, doing nothing. It's not serving me. <laughs> they, 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 I mean, those third-party devs still figured it out pretty quick. Like the, uh, the EE yeah. discovery people. That's what I use for my, uh, for my journal syncing. They, like, they fixed it after like a day. Yeah, Obama is it's like, that's cool. It's mm. like, wow, they, they're on it. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Right, we have fifteen minutes for a photograph in the bar. Okay, uh, right, yeah. Forward yeah, to the bar that's then. That's yeah. cool. That's cool. Or in the viewing area, I don't... I think we're all on the way to the bar now. Everyone, just just the word go to the bar and everyone is sort of <laughs> already on their way. There's something kind of built into Western society, I yes, think. people here go to the bar. Yeah, it tells you a lot about Western culture, basically. Yeah! <laughs> like, Let's go to the bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we are. Here. We are here in the bar. Can't wait. Uh, if only they let you buy drinks. Yeah, that's the one thing that they don't do. <laughs> Imagine if this game had like a. I know they they're like a they're like a fence, but yeah, they don't yeah. fucking. <laughs> Every bartender yeah, is a fence, but thing. they don't actually. They don't sell you beers, but that that would be funny. If this game had a, like yeah. a drunk mechanic. <laughs> it would, even if it was just <laughs> and up, you were, like, like other trying people. to fly out of your station, but like. <laughs> yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah, just imagine like your screen, you, like what, GTA what style. <laughs> GTA style with your screen shaking around trying to fly the ship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it'd be fun. Or even if it's like NPCs. And getting a fine for fucking... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, them stumbling around. That's what I was thinking. You see an NPC slowly drink more and more and then like start to lean over and then he falls off his stool. <laughs> Stuff like that, really. Would be kind of funny NPC mechanics, but yeah. Yeah. In this case, wouldn't they just uh, demagnetize and float around? Oh, Logically, yeah. yes. They were just, they yeah. were just like... Glitching like booties. I mean, even even with mag boots, all these people have incredible core strength to be able to stand up looking normally. Like, that would be still <laughs> kind of hard to do, to like be perfectly straight all the time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Depends how sort of the transition is for between like one and state and the next. Right. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Sorry, Logan, you're a bit duck quiet there. Yeah. This time we might uh, stand here or sit here and uh, make a photo right here. Uh, hold on. No, no, I'm back up. It appears to be. Okay. Cool. I can hear you now. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, now. Yeah. yeah. I think your volume by yourself is fine. I just think there's the, the, some other voices in the chat that are a lot louder than yours, and it kind of drowns it out sometimes. But you know, right. you're okay at the moment, though. It's fine. Oh yeah, I have to re keep constantly you know, reset uh, Discord sometimes, but you know, other than that, no problem. Yeah, Discord is a strange creature sometimes. Does anybody know the name of the binding and where it is for the um, turning off the commander identity on foot? I, I can't remember, to be fair. I almost want to say it's... Can't see no. anything. 
All right, well, hang on a sec. I remember this thing. Let me, uh... Yeah, I think I remember telling people how Trolls. to do it, but... <laughs> there is crew member staying in front of us and breaking the site. <laughs> I couldn't, yeah, I couldn't see anything there. Wait, what button are you looking for? Turning on and off the, um, the little identity tags when you're on foot. I didn't even know you could turn those off. Yeah. Apparently you can. You said, but I don't know why. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. I can throw a grenade. No, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got your right priority. You don't have to throw a grenade. You don't have to turn the signs off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. It would enough. be funny if they let you do that. Except it would not be funny at all. There'd be a lot of griefing. But like, just like, yeah, just someone just drops a grenade in the middle of a <laughs> in the middle of a station, just commits an act of terrorism. Just like yeah. bye. <laughs> No, it is kind of interesting. So I go. <laughs> some of the positions, you know, some of the way that the commanders move is quite funny. Like that. <clears throat> Rewind. Hmm. Not sure. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, uh, Commander B A, do you want to come over here so we can uh, do a group picture? <laughs> Yay. Oh, are we doing that? Isn't the carrier jumping in like two minutes? Or well, something like that? maybe. No, I mean, no. whenever we can, really, you know. Uh, yeah, thanks. Yannick is staying right in front and blocking Yannick. Cool. Uh, to the chat there, thank dude, uh, Ge Geode Miner. Thank good to have you with us. Uh, Logan, you, you stand right behind Yannick. <laughs> Need me to move slightly. I'm on the screen right now trying to find something. Okay, Master, Master. I think it needs a drink from the bar very desperately. I think this is going to be one of those situations where I'm just going to have to look it up well, on it's Reddit, not, or Reddit or something. Ideal, ideal, yeah. yes, ideal. I had a quick Google it. Ideal. No yeah. mm. It's an obvious thing, you would think, but yeah, it's the, the, not an obvious control. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Spot here. Mm. Mm. Okay, right, are we in position? I think so. I forget what the controls are for uh, for foot cam. I think after this last jump, I'm gonna go ahead and log off and uh, start posting all the images I took earlier today. Yeah. yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I'll probably have to uh, skedaddle not long after, as well. This has been a very epic stream indeed, as well, and a very even longer uh, 
real life yeah. sort of beat up. I mean, my stream's yeah, already at definitely. four and a half hours, and I logged in about at least an hour before that, probably. So, yeah, this has been a long one. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Uh, I realized that I'd done one hour of video recording of the Discord channel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Focusing on the wrong window. But fortunately, I that came to the end because it was 60 minutes and i started again just in time to capture the 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 two mass jumps the joint mass jumps yeah no that's cool i mean zero posted a very good video it's a very short one but it just shows you the moment of uh both instances sort of jumping mm -hmm. simultaneously stuff like that i mean no doubt he'll probably put a longer video out in uh, the near future he's very good at doing that it's Did someone take a photograph? I Captain do not know. Oh, are, are we posing? <laughs> uh, we're going to have to sit down, aren't we? Yeah. Okay, let's sit down then. Okay. Oh, well. I posted a couple. Let's see let's if go. sitting here will actually keep us oh. from sitting up on the command deck. Hmm. Yeah. Is there really box? Let's go and sit over here. This guy's got the Walter White look over here. What the heck? Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is not going to work, but you know. It's always fun. I think some of us are over there, some of us are over here, so yeah. It's fine. I uh, don't think there's enough seats anyway for everyone to sit down in the same place. <clears throat> Apart from the yeah. command deck, maybe. Sorry, the yeah. observation deck. Yeah, so that's fine. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Well, I could go Fire to the command shot. deck and free up another seat here, I suppose. It's okay. Yeah, like, you stay where you are. It's absolutely... We'd rather you be here with us than uh, off on the command deck. But, you know, it's absolutely fine. I mean, by the time we get back up at there, it's not really worth uh, it. It's fine being here. Plus, to be fair, how often have we been life here? Life of a carrier <laughs> owner is a lonely one. <laughs> it can indeed. It can indeed. It has immediately got the urine uh, Oh, dear. Yeah. Well, uh, you've been escorted to designated right, seat for departure. We've thrown out the bar again. <laughs> that was I'm back in my <laughs> command seat. I've been given another you seat on the right hand side. All the way up. Okay, I am sitting slightly to the side of other people. I can see Strap Curse, uh, E.G. Duran, really random, and Real Roaster at the other side. Two minutes to jump, apparently. Random is a description of our seating arrangement. That is true. <laughs> it's a good name for a commander, though, really random. Yeah, I can see Kit sitting up there. Yeah. He's got a similar overall look to the Matrix gamer, actually. Hmm. Interesting. It is different, but it's similar. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, this is fun. Oh, were, you were all escorted to these seats, were you? Yeah, we were. We were thrown yeah. out the bar unceremoniously for being oh, disruptive right. drunkards. Okay. <laughs> disruptive space drunkards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How long have we got till it goes all foggy and we get one thrown out minute. the boat? One minute, exactly. One Imagine minute. that. If you were, let's say you were paralytically drunk and then you saw the uh, hyperspace cloud and, you know, you're going through witch space and everything. It's like, <laughs> it would be quite an interesting experience. You're like, oh, shit. Like, <laughs> what's that? <laughs> How much worse would it be if you dropped acid? Oh, infinitely worse, I'm <laughs> assuming. <laughs> that might set some people over the edge, I reckon. You see right? elephants yeah. coming out of the yeah. launch pads. Exactly, yeah. That's the milder end of the spectrum, I think. <laughs> Could see something much, much more uh, disturbing. 
<laughs> I hope everyone stopped talking. Ah, oh, dear. And remember, don't drink during the hacker space jumps. <laughs> cool. Hmm. Right, so where are we about... going right now, by the way? Star One. Yep. Okay. The very same. The only the regret I have about Star One generally has nothing to do with us, but it's, what, what? it's a boring system. That's all I was going to say. Sorry. Ah, <laughs> uh, here we are. Yeah, it really is. Starts, uh, yeah. Not, is, Star One, is Star One like the real name of it, or is that just the elite colloquial term? It's the elite law term, like the community it's, have made it's that. It's name because nobody just uh, found that system yet with our poor telescopic from the yeah. and there have been some systems that uh, frontier have actually like named what the community named them beagle points the only major one that comes to mind there. i think might be another one somewhere but yeah beagle points pretty much the only one for explorers anyway yeah. well, i don't know i mean like the, like the like the real is this like a real star that that we know of or is this just from purely fictional from the game oh it's it's generated by the game yeah okay it's too far away from this yeah. part of the galaxy to really see that, I know that I, yeah now that people have actually visited it it's kind of set in stone yeah yeah i just know that there, there's some stars even the more distant ones that like that we know of in real life that they actually put in uh yeah. or at least at least the game yeah and then there are some that are closer that uh, have been recently discovered, uh, like the uh, Trappist system. Yeah, yeah. There just so happened to have been a star procedurally generated by the uh, by the get by our by the Elite Dangerous Engine, whatever it's called. Yeah. And um, only it has some better terrain generation. So they, so they just basically replaced that star with a model of the Trappist system. Mm -hmm. If mm. you want to find the Trappist system in Elite Dangerous, yes, it's possible. It's kind of cool. That is. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what the Trappist system is? Uh, yeah. yeah. It's basically a, a yeah. small red dwarf star, and all the planets orbiting it are... I think four out of the seven are located um, within the with, when, within what would be the life zone, and they're clustered so close to the star. I mean, basically, all of the planets' orbit orbits are so close that in our star system, they would be orbiting within the orbit of Mercury. <laughs> That's pretty close. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, interesting. <laughs> uh, I mean, imagine seeing that like in the game, being like, "Well, that was some weird generation," even though that's just what happened in real life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. That's, <laughs> that's a real thing, <laughs> and you're just like, "Fuck, this is some like." Cause there are some weird systems that are generated in this oh, game, yeah. but uh, <laughs> just imagine seeing that, and you're like, "Well, these are some really close orbits. That can't be. That's got to be." <laughs> not right the truth is stranger than fiction anyway so that's kind of right yeah <laughs> yeah there are more things in heaven and earth horatio than are dealt with in your philosophy indeed indeed quite a bit of uh shakespeare going around oh, tonight shakespeare. <laughs> <laughs> yeah all right i'm gonna sleep actually that's okay. a nice expedition yeah Bye. It was fun. I think I'm going to sign off fairly soon. Me too. I'm going to get in uh, my spacecraft and then sign out. It might out, be yeah. a, a little bit late setting off tomorrow. Okay, cool. But that's, that's okay. All right. Yeah. I couldn't actually get I, on my ship yet, but I'm just going to go ahead and wait a couple of hours and get, it, get on my ship. Cool. Are, are you going to be taking... Are you going huh? to be, be taking Endeavor back to the bubble straight up? You know, sprinting it. Uh, uh, yeah, maybe not sprinting as fast as I have been during. Uh, it's 73, 74 uh, jumps. 
times oh, two for shit. the for the legacy carrier. Oh fuck yeah, you gotta do it twice. <laughs> I think How about... long is that gonna take in how long is that gonna take like in real time? I think I'm probably gonna limit myself to twenty four jumps per day. Mm. Both both carriers. Right, uh, four, yeah. Two. Yeah. It's gonna be three days. I was gonna say whatever you That's do, like don't it's... Don't overexert yourself, dude, because there's no reason anymore. You've no deadlines to meet. There's nothing you have to yeah. do. Just at your yeah, leisure, basically, yeah. take yeah. everyone back because, that, you know. That's ridiculous. That's like a full able... day's work right there. Like, that, that's crazy. It I'm is. able to sit still for a very long time. <laughs> I, do, do you, are you, like, doing something else, like, tapping in and out? Or are you just like, all right, here we go. <laughs> I'll be watching the other half of Netflix, probably. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, That's go. fair enough, yeah. Not, not you can, time wasted. You can really do not it. time wasted at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, it has been an excellent expedition. Thanks, again. Thanks once again, Yannick. Thank you. Thank you for everyone who's yeah. turned up. Yes. Hope to see you around the galaxy. Awesome. Yeah. I see most of you back in the bubble, yeah, I suspect, you. or on AA. Good luck in your travel, and... Good luck with defending the bubble. Yep. If it's if it's possible. <laughs> well, good luck to us all. Good night, yeah. everyone. Good night, yeah. Cheers. Thank you. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Hot, hot seven, commanders. Hot oh, seven. Yeah. Hot seven. <laughs> yeah. Well, all right. Yeah. Journey, Yannick, and thank you for organizing this expedition. Awesome. Thank you for turning up, and thank well, you. Again. Awesome. Thank you very much. See you soon. Uh, adios. Later. Um, I actually had one question. Um, if sure. I just wanted to fly back to the bubble myself at this point, would it be best to leave my other ships on the Endeavor? Mm hmm. Yeah, this should be fine. Have them transported back? Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll take a, taking everything back to Lave or as close as I can get. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how, that's true. How busy a system it is. Um, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's probably the easiest way in in both um, Odyssey and uh, Live and Legacy. I mean. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah. Right. As always with us people, that the um, this Discord will be open pretty much in perpetuity as a sort of. Uh, pretty much a record and a tribute to everything that we've all seen achieved and you know recorded in our our time here and uh yeah that, that's the reason i've got so many discords because there's other expeditions i've done and been in as well over the years but yeah don't worry it's not going to be shut down nothing's going to be deleted it'll just be there and uh, for as long as you want it to be really but it's all good. It's all good. Right. I'm going to um, say... Endeavor. Sorry. 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 You, you do your Endeavor bit first and then I'll say good night. <laughs> I was just going to say Endeavor's not going to be moving anywhere else from Lave, so you don't have to worry about moving your ships off immediately. Mm -hmm. Hopefully Lave survives. <laughs> Who knows? It might be gone by the time we get there. <laughs> Who knows what's going to happen now? <laughs> but no, it's it's been a, a great the next time. Next update will probably have. Um... So. Yeah. Right, I'll see you back in the bubble then. Awesome. Okay. Cheerio. Right. I've just. Uh... No, it's it's been a good one, and I will say uh, good night to everyone. I'll still be around in Discord probably for uh, to comment on things for the best of the evening and any uh, sort of any images or anything you want to put in Discord, um, please do as always. And um, thank you everybody. It's been awesome, and as always, it's been a pleasure. I will uh, see you all around in the bubble or out in the black. Until next time, farewell. Look forward to it. Sure. Okay, to those of you watching out there in Twitch land, uh, this is the end of this particular expedition. Uh, 
rundown, I suppose. Trying to document everything that's happened today, and a lot that's happened today. Didn't quite end up in the exact order I anticipated, but uh, we did the best we could under the circumstances, and yeah, there's lots of great and wonderful things. Thank you for everyone who has watched these expedition uh, sort of streams that I've done. Uh, and thank you everyone who subscribed any bits and anyone has uh, contributed any donations via Ko-Fi. Uh, yeah, just thank you, anyone who paid attention, anyone who's been watching. Uh, I thank you all, as always, with this. Uh, without you out there watching and uh, people participating in these events, these events would be very lonely affairs. And I thank you all, and I bid you all good night.